that. <laughs> Shoot. Bless, no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Good evening. Oh, I hope y'all are doing well. I am so, so tired today. <laughs> I stayed up late oh, doing some art and the, the art bug got me good last night uh, oh shoot <laughs> so I stayed up way too late uh, that's that's on me that's on me I was having too much fun <laughs> okay uh, oh my gosh y'all please I just got here what is this <laughs> every, every time time thank you so much but y'all are way too nice <laughs> shush <laughs> all right all right i'll handle the redeems after i say thank you <laughs> real amplifier is the blanket comfy yeah it's so comfy i could just fall asleep like this right now but i mean like i, I maybe art will wake me up that's kind of what i was hoping for today is after work i'll come home relax for like an hour and not fall asleep and then do some art and it would be great. Just like a shot of energy to my brain. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, oh gosh, get my word. Hey, back at it again, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, get my word. You're, all, you're always here. I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, <laughs> shoot. Dark Dud, thank you for the mints. Oh my gosh, a, there's no gob tax. There's no gob tax in Bassing Say. Uh, Red Org, hey, welcome back. Thank you for the reset. What up, what up? Not much, not much. Keeping it pretty chill today. I'm tired, but I, I, I'm, I love, I love hanging out with y'all. It's, it just boosts my mood. So hopefully I'll wake up a little bit more. Oh gosh, <laughs> Keyboy, thank you so much for the shiny. Oh my gosh, that's so much. Thank you. Um, <laughs> shoot. Duck man. Oh gosh, you give me another gift of subs. Oh, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Sad cactus. Oh, that's such a cute username. Well, 666. Still cute. Still cute. <laughs> Thank you so much for the shinies. Uh, great Snecknardo. Oh, Skennardo. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted sub. Todd Fox. Hey, hey, welcome back. It's good to see you. Thank you for the gifted sub. Duckman. Stealth MP. <laughs> Sad cactus. Core stone. Uh, oh my gosh, Cordstone again. Thank you so, so much for those shinies. Yo, I, I'm so sorry if I missed your messages. Shoot. Chat zooming tonight. <laughs> Excuse me. Ted at the brown bear. I like your voice. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. Uh, <laughs> I'm, my, my voice feels a little bit raspy tonight, but that's okay. That's okay. It'll warm up pretty soon. Uh, <laughs> Joker's Gaze, thank you so much for the Prime, welcome! Thank you so much for coming! Uh, Zok the Cobalt, oh my gosh! E e <laughs> thank you so much for the five gifted subs! This Cobalt's throwing money everywhere, oh my gosh, thank you! <laughs> Judas Presley, thank you for the Prime, welcome! I Duckman, hey, thank you for the resub, welcome back! Two months with Gobble. Can't wait for more. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, Real Amplifier. Thank you for the Prime. Cyberwolf. Oh my gosh. Cyberwolf. That's <laughs> five gifted subs. Oh gosh. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Ronch BC or because. Let's put the headpads on right now. Let's, let's get that there. This instant. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Owl Fluffs. Owl Fluffs. What you doing here? Oh, you didn't have to give me all those shinies. Thank you. You, you didn't have to, all flops. <laughs> Ryuta, thank you so much for the shinies. Real Cave Goblin, oh my gosh, y'all are just spoiling me now. They... <laughs> Come on, you don't have to do that. We're here, we're here to have some fun. You don't need to throw shinies at me all the time. <laughs> um, Juiced Hoplite, hey, welcome. Thank you for the prime, welcome. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, uh, okay. Oh gosh, there's still so many. 
KG Lui, I am so sorry if I mispronounced that, by the way. <laughs> Welcome, thank you for coming to the tavern. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> PC Viking, oh my gosh, and KG, KG Lui. <laughs> thank you so much for the bits. <clears throat> Mickey Rune, thank you for the prime. Welcome. Oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> Neck DW4, thank you for the prime as well. I hope y'all are having a good day and enjoying your time here so far. <laughs> Sir Tuna Gaming, nonsense. We shall throw shinies if we want. <laughs> Make it a carnival game. Just hit the gob with the coin. <laughs> Win a prize. She'll say ow. <laughs> um, Grim, Grim, what are you giving me money for? Grim, get out of here. <laughs> Thank you for the for the bits though. Oh my gosh, and her bucket. Thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Red Hex, thank you so much for the shinies. Oh gosh. I don't know what this does, but bam. <laughs> well thank you, that's what it does. It puts a little cute uh emote there. <laughs> One day I'll get some bit animations in there. Uh, Owl Mage! Oh, you didn't have to! Oh my gosh! Owl Mage! You didn't have to give me- <laughs> Give this sub to Lil S. Well, actually, Lil S deserved a sub anyways. Dang, I should've given it to him earlier. <laughs> Thank you for giving Lil S a sub. <laughs> uh, hands young Uncle Tickle. <laughs> I, I, I can't read that many syllables, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the prime! A real cape goblin! Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's too many. That's too many bits. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Say, say what? Say what? The gob maid shall be spoiled. Gecko. <laughs> no. Um. And Duckman, thank you so much for the bits. Okay. Okay. Whew. I think I got everything. I think I got everything. Don't Irish Duckman. Someone say gobble tech. No. No. No one said a thing. No one said a thing. It's fine. Now I'll take care of the redeems now. You know what? Now I'll take care of the redeems. <laughs> All right, uh, PC Viking, let's do a posture check. <sighs> My arms needed a big stretch. Real Cape Goblin, can't help it. I have so many shinies, want to give them to cute Gobble. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. I hope you all are taking care of yourselves first. That's important. Uh, oh, gosh. Anonymous Gifter, thank you for the gifted sub. Oh, Creepa, thank you for the shades. Ah, I'm never gonna get to do art at this rate. Um, <laughs> Tickles, thank you so much for the two, uh, two gifted subs. Oh gosh. Cerberus the Mighty, oh whoa. Cerberus, oh gosh. Um, <clears throat> thank you. <laughs> You're brand new here and you just throw 2,000 bits at me? What is this? What are you doing? Thank you. <laughs> Yo, Lily's here? What? Since when? Where's Lily? Is she here to say hi? <gasps> she lived! She lived! Oh, Lily, it's so good to see you. Oh, I hope you're doing good. Um, her bucket, thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> Bill Cypher, I like your new PJ outfit. Oh, thank you. This is, uh, this is just blankets. I do have an actual PJ outfit. Maybe I'll break it out at some point. Uh, right. Redeems. <laughs> Uh, God Serato, thank you for the hydrate. I got some tea, I got a water bottle, got a lot to drink today. Excuse me. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, the real amplifier. Ear wiggles. Did someone say ear wiggles? <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm already more awake now. This is great. <laughs> oh shoot, uh, King Twerk Wizard. <laughs> thank you for the shinies. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, let, let's let's the. I wasn't feeling it on on Friday, but I'm I'm feeling a lot better today. My tummy ache's gone. I took a bit to de-stress, so now I'm down to do some hay sugars and art arts and sing some songs. <laughs> let's go. <clears throat> oh, Capjack style. Thank you for the prime. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I just have to work up a little more courage to do an Arara. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Darkman, money, walk the gobble. No, no, no. <laughs> I feel like just talking to people woke me up, so that's that's a good sign. Oh gosh, the red hex. Thank you so much for the bits. And Jed Ferreria, <laughs> thank you for the sub. Welcome. Uh, Space Voyager, thanks for the hydrate. Sorry, I'll get to those other redeems real quick. Excuse me. Red Hex, any tips on joining Twitch or becoming a VTuber? I'd like to start running my D&D games in Twitch with Avatar. Oh, that's cool. That's a good idea. Um, in terms of joining Twitch, uh, just make sure you're comfortable using OBS and you have a good mic system. That's pretty much it for streaming. Um, even then, you don't really need a super expensive mic. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, but as in terms of being a VTuber, if you want to start with an avatar but don't have the time to make a 2D live model or a rig or have the budget for it, I would suggest starting with a PNG of your character. That's a really good way to start. It also gets comfortable with um, streaming with an avatar. That way you're not um, immediately going hard on an investment you may not use later on. Because VT VTubing isn't for everyone and it's good to kind of dip your feet in the water before you jump in <laughs> all at once. Um, I mean, like, if you want to, if you if you know what's what you want to do, then go for it, though. That's what I say. Uh, <laughs> Space Voyager, have a sip my favorite wife. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all right, let's get to these. Uh, whew. Oni, been watching for a while. This is my first major interaction. Love it here, and I love your goblin avatar. Here's to your success. Thank you. Oh gosh, Cyberwolf, thank you. Tummy ache is gone thanks to Tums. Also sneaking a couple times. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, I had the forbidden candy. Oh, it was so delicious. I can't have it anymore because I don't have a tummy ache, but you know what? That's fine. <laughs> I'll just have to wait till next time. At least if I don't have it, then I <laughs> then I don't have to to um eat tums. No tummy ache means no tums, so I guess either way I win. Whoa, animated armor! Hey, welcome! Oh, great to see you! I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the sub. Oh, glad you're here. It's good to see you. <laughs> Pope Frantic, thank you so much for the bits. In your opinion, as a goblin, what's the best cave type for screaming in? Dark and dank or dry and dusty? <sighs> dry and dusty. It, everything bounces so much easier. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> God Serato, I'm so sorry. That song is coming. Uh, but let's let's do the the, the embarrassing ones first. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Ara ara. Hey sugar. <laughs> Hope you had a good weekend. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Grim, dry and dusty? Yeah, because then it echoes a lot more. If it's wet, it doesn't echo that much in terms of, like, caves. <laughs> Riding Warlock, can't believe I caught a stream. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I am honest. I joined your RRR. Yeah, you can do an RRR. Do it yourself. Do your own RRR. Alright, I have a song lined up. It's all, it's all ready. My throat had time to rest. Um, <laughs> this is a pretty short song, but it's a very nice, like, lullaby song. It's, um, it's from the movie, um, Over the Moon. Uh, it's sung by, I believe, Kathy Ang, Ruthie Ann Mills, and John Cho. It's called On the Moon Above. It's like a lullaby. Uh, Super Saiyan God. Might not be in chat much. Gonna keep playing Quake as first timer with you in the background. Ooh, have fun. <laughs> Alright, let me <clears throat> clear my throat a little bit and turn off my background music. <laughs> oh, Alright. God Serato, here's a song you could learn, Love Me Tender by Elvis Presley. Ah, oh, that's a pretty good song. I think I've heard it once or twice. I don't know how tight, or how, like, how um, strict DMCA are, but like, I think the more iconic the song, the easier it is for the AI to recognize it. <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> All right, let's uh, <laughs> we take a quick sip before I sing. <sighs> All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's pretty short. <clears throat> Still gonna be fun though. Rach, here is where we do <laughs> a little trolling, do four song redeems in a row. Ha <laughs> ha! I have learned from my mistakes. There is a cooldown now. <laughs> oh gosh, I missed. Death Omega, thank you so much for the shinies. Thank you. I'm so sorry if I missed your message. Some dude, thank you for the Risa. Welcome back. Hello, Goblin Girl. Please serenade us with the song of your people. Yeah, for sure. All right. <clears throat> Whew. I am honest. Fly me to the moon. Oh, that's a good song. Maybe I'll sing that next. <laughs> Long ago, an ancient story, beautiful and kind, Chang'e. And a handsome man named Hoi were in love, true love. But she took a magic potion, giving immortality. Then she floated, leaving her true love. And she waits for him on the moon above. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I just gotta hit that note. <laughs> Longing, hoping for her one true love. Now she waits for him on the moon above forever. forever. It's a very short song, but it's really good. <laughs> oh, all right. I think my voice still needs to warm up a little bit. <laughs> that guy missed the singing? That's okay, it was a short song. <laughs> Just because my, my throat's still a little dry, so I have to warm up a little bit. So I, got, I also gotta drink more tea. Excuse me. <laughs> Fong, hey, what's your favorite song? Ooh. I think my favorite song is probably Love Like You. Just like it's it's such a good Steven Universe song. <laughs> let me let me go to the art page so that I don't get too distracted. <laughs> Uh, Death Omega. It's okay, we don't need to read it, but I do want you to know we are thankful to have you in our lives. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> you you're all, you've all been so very kind, and I appreciate that. Um, oh, Calavan. Hey, thank you for the Risa. Welcome back. Her bucket. Oh my gosh, thank you for the five gifted subs. What? <laughs> thank you. You really didn't have to. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, what is this layer? What did I draw here? Nothing. All right. I have to organize my layers better. All right. But yeah, I think my favorite song is like, uh, Love Like You. It's just such a good, like, mom song. <laughs> Gecko, what kind of tea? Uh, it's just green tea. Just so I can wake up a little bit. Not too strong, uh, caffeine wise, because I do have to go to sleep tonight and wake up early. Uh, works fine. But I sometimes would like to be able to wake up early or just so I can do art before I go to work. <laughs> Brown bear, you gotta go? All right, take it easy, no sweat. Have a good time. <laughs> Sleepy raccoon, I just bought the demon soul today. Oh, and it's been pretty cool so far. The first boss whooped me in the first five seconds. Oh yeah, I, I, I. <laughs> I think you're supposed to die to the first boss in Demon Souls. I don't think you're supposed to survive that. Actually, let's move me down a little bit. I'm a little bit tall. <laughs> Impact, you can beat it? Yeah, you can beat it. I, I've seen some people beat it, but I, I don't know how you would do that. All right, what's a good expression to start with? Half of what you think of me I would do about anything I would even learn how to love When I see the way you act 
wondering when I'm coming back. I would do about anything. I would even learn how to love like you. But yay. <laughs> Iron foreskin. Are we all supposed to die? Eventually. <laughs> but like, you gotta, you gotta appreciate the ride while you're here. You know? A friendly nobody. Adore that song. Yeah, it's such a good song. Ugh. I love it so much. I have the wrong pen. Let's make it smaller. Eight's probably pretty good. There we go. That guy. I gotta go for D&D. &D. It was nice to hear you singing again after a whole week without it. Oh, yeah, have fun at D&D. &D. Thank you so much for dropping by. Ethos, watching you play Sekiro made me play Bloodborne again. Nice. I forgot how hard the game is, but as they say in Yarnum, a hunter must hunt. Oh, yes. A hunter must hunt in Yarnum. Uh, let's draw eyes. Because the eyes should almost always be on separate layers. Large Mountain. Hey, honey. Hope you and the chat are doing well. Yeah, it seems like uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. And from what I can see in chat, y'all seem to be doing all right. Hope you're doing pretty good, at least. Whoa, Pen, <laughs> pen and Quill, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Take a seat. Relax. Cosmo, woke up, but you make me sleep again by your song. Looks like I'll go back to sleep. Thank you and have a nice stream. Oh, thanks for dropping by. Yeah, get some sleep if you need it. Don't ever feel bad about needing to take care of yourself. I forgot to turn the music back on. There we go. Fung, hey honey, are you a spiritual person? Uh, maybe. I, I don't really know how you would define a spiritual person. Is a spiritual person someone who believes in doing good and there's power in the universe? Like, kind of like Buddhism? I think? Because, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not particularly religious, despite the fact that I was uh, raised in a semi-religious community. Um, but for the most part, everyone was just like, yeah, just be nice. We don't really, <laughs> we're not going to force you to go to church. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Rustic iron aggressively boops. <laughs> Isn't that just like smacking someone in the nose? <laughs> Isn't that what an aggressive boop is? Dim. I need unsee juice. A random fury just ruined my childhood. Oh, oh gosh. <sighs> Wouldn't some unsee juice be nice, just in general? Just, just the, having the option, not actually using it, just having the option to use the unsee juice. <laughs> Dim, would want to know what I saw? No. <laughs> If you want to unsee it, I don't want to see it. Rustic Ion, love your stream. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's really nice of you to say. <laughs> uh, Omega, I think an aggressive boop is one exaggerated motion and then slowing down once approaching the target. <laughs> Just sort of faking, faking out a big slap. I think, my, I think like my cousins and I used to play that game where it's like they they wind up super hard and the person who flinches loses. Even though we didn't actually hit each other, we would just like lightly like pat each other on the back. But you would just wind up so huge it would terrify the younger kids. In hindsight, weird game. Uh, <laughs> fun memory though. <laughs> no fix fun. How do you measure the radius of an enchanted forest? Find the centaur. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. Uh, now all I can think about is centaur world. Oh, I love centaur world. It's weird, but it's so well animated and it's so much fun. There's a lot of heart to it. It's a good show. Watch it if you haven't. It's, it's comfy. And strange. <laughs> Omar, thank you so much for the bits. More shinies for the Q-Sec and Goblin on Twitch. Aw, what the... <laughs> thank you. Dancing demos. So smug. Oh, yes. I think I gotta add, add like 10% more smug. 
just a little extra to make it special, you know? Necro Neko, thank you for the posture check. And Dat Boy Lloyd, hey! Oh. Welcome! <laughs> I hope you're having a good time. Thank you so much for joining us here. Whew. Uh, hand, right. <laughs> just just little, little sausage fingers. Sausage fingers. You're safe from this guy. If I knew where he lived, I'd go beat him up every day and also eat a Kit Kat wrong in front of him. I mean, <laughs> hopefully that what you saw didn't bother you too much. That happens sometimes. Narwhal soup. First honey stream. What is, what is I do now? I uh, just sort of hang out and vibe. It's kind of, we're just here to chill out. Take it easy. Argentium, hey, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. <laughs> thank you so much. Gecko also paid goblin tax. No, Gecko! <laughs> All of my mods are here to just cause chaos for me. <laughs> longing, longing. Na, 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 na. Mm -hmm. Rustic on. Every time I see a VTuber draw, it inspires me more to stop procrastinating and practice drawing. Oh, that's. I guess that's good. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm, I think one of the things that makes me the, the happiest, like the people have told me, is that they've gotten back into art after watching my streams. And that's that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> art's, art's hard, especially when you fall out of the loop with it. Like, take it easy. Arts, don't, don't try to force it, but have fun with it, you know? I'm glad people are getting back into art. Uh, Mizu Black River, thank you for the hydrate, by the way. Sip some of my tea. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lycan, I finished watching Centaur World uh, this last week, and yes, holy butts, it's good. Got those mid series Adventure Time vibes. Yeah, it feels very nonsensical and soft, but it's got a little darkness in it, kind of like Adventure Time. Uh, Mark Blep, I have an idea for a biome sort of area for a campaign. A wasteland sort of place that has horrid creatures that have been mutated due to the radiation or whatever sort of strange phenomenon. Ah. Like a, like a, like a Fallout style campaign, kind of. I think that'd be fun. Animated armor. Mods be like that sometimes we love them anime. Oh, of course. My mods are wonderful. They loved causing mischief, though. I guess that, that's what makes it fun. That's what makes the streams like a little, a little, little extra nice. <laughs> uh, Duma, hey, good to see you. How you doing? You got ten minutes till your break's over. How's it hanging? It's hanging pretty good. I'm just doing emotes right now, taking it easy. I'm a little sleepy, but having some fun. I think this is pretty clean. I'll probably cut off the arm a little bit. Let's do the ears. <laughs> Napalm, can I pay the goblin tax by ordering a thousand racks of bourbon ribs? Oh my gosh, are you trying to feed an army? <laughs> That's so many ribs. Uh, Nevis, do you know the song Dan Danny Boy? Oh no, I don't. Dang. I, I'm... I've probably heard it, but I wouldn't be able to recognize it until I actually re-listen to it. Oh my god, I started playing Sekiro because I saw you ha fun having fun playing it. I am now sure of two, two things. It is a fun, balanced, and challenging game. And two, I want to stab Lady Butterfly in the face with a chainsaw. Why, d <laughs> Why does this game want us to be so violent to old people? <laughs> listen, they want to teach us to respect our elders by making elders kick our asses. And you know what? It works. I, I respect my grandma even more. The threat of her kicking my ass could make could make anyone respect her. Uh, Turn dog. Watching your streams is what I used to work on my VTuber avatar. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I, I love seeing VTubers come to life. It's so much fun. Snuggle, you cried watching Centaur World? Yeah, there are some 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 sad and good emotional moments. It's fair. That's fair. Can you sing, here comes the boy, hello boy. Oh, oh, that's that's from a TikTok. Shoot, why can't I remember the tune? 
<laughs> Fleek, this kind of mischief? Yeah. Anytime Fleek is in chat, there's mischief about. <laughs> uh, butt duck. I've never really watched streams like this before, but hearing someone talking in a newly very quiet home is very comforting and friendly. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no worries. I'm glad I could make your home feel a little bit more full, you know? I moved quite recently, um, and I also found that whenever I'm alone in the place, I have to have something going on in the background. Otherwise, I feel a little nervous. I'm, I'm not quite used to my place yet. It's a nice place, and I do enjoy it, but yeah, having a little background noise makes you feel a little less lonely and a little less on edge, if that makes sense. So I'm glad I could help you relax a little bit. Onyx, fear the old <laughs> in a profession where people die young. Ooh. Yeah, that's actually a good point, Onyx. Yeah, the <laughs> those people live to an old age because they're just badass. They're just too powerful to be contained. What is going on outside? Is someone flying a plane? Oh boy, Fleek stole my bones on Backbug stream. <gasps> Fleek! Why'd you steal their bones? You stole our boy's bones! That's bad. Stealing's bad. You got your own bones. <laughs> Fleek, I'll do it again. <laughs> oh, all my mods are like my children. It's just it's just the picture of the dad with with three kids, like one strapped to his front and two on leashes going in opposite directions. <laughs> oh. Just do that on the eyes layer actually. Fleek tails. Ah, uh, yo, you y'all were gambling. Oh, I see, I see. There we go. Eyes. Omega, I felt. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Omega, I feel that I can't sleep if it's dead silent. Yeah, the sometimes the hum of like a humidifier or just like a fan is nice because it's just it's just white noise that helps you fall asleep. I think there's actually a thing for that for like newborn babies. My cousin had to buy a, a, a white noise machine for their newborn because they just wouldn't fall asleep and it worked. So I wouldn't be surprised if some people need that into adulthood. Nothing wrong with it. If it helps you sleep, that's good for you. Uh, Arcanine, I'm new and your model's adorable. Oh, thank you. I made it myself. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> uh, noodles, did you manage to get a new couch? Nah. Haven't got a new couch. Right now I've just got a beanbag chair that's big enough for two. So it's 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 still nice, but um <laughs> like when Cove and I watch a movie, if one sits on one end, like if I sit on one end and then she sits on the other, and then one of us gets up to grab like popcorn, the other just sinks into the chair. It's kinda funny. <laughs> but yeah, I need a new couch. I also need a standing desk. Um I think I'm sitting a little bit too much. Also, if I get a standing desk, it'll help my uh, lungs to be able to breathe a little better when I need to sing for song redeems. So, another good reason to get a standing desk. Good for my heart, my legs, and my voice. Or my lungs. <laughs> Kemal World. Good evening, hope you are all having a good one. I like the wholesomeness you have on your channel. It keeps me calm as I work on 2D and 3D stuff. Ooh, that's quite a skill set you got. Working on both 2D and 3D? That's pretty, that's, that's impressive got extra dimension to deal with with 3D. I haven't figured out Blender yet. Heck, I haven't touched Blender. <laughs> Sweet. Well, now I gotta draw that meme. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> uh, Sinjo goes, hey honey, do you play Final Fantasy? No, I haven't played any Final Fantasy games before. Uh, Joker's Gaze, I love you adorable look. It's so cozy looking. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the, this is a good, good cozy blanket. I'm loving it. Detective Moon. Ah, uh, yes. Kids going around stealing people's bones like back in the good old days. <laughs> uh, you ever steal your friend's bones when you were a kid? No? What kind of childhood you have? <laughs> Did anyone ever, like, try to scam the Tooth Fairy when you were a kid? When I was a kid, I think I tried really hard to stay awake every time I... I lost a tooth because I was like, I gotta wait for the tooth fairy. I, I wanna see the tooth fairy. When's she gonna get here? When's she gonna give me my money? 
And then I, I was a kid and I loved sleeping, so I would just stay awake for maybe like an hour past my bedtime, but then just crash. I, I didn't have the willpower to stay awake late. So I never learned where the tooth fairy came from. Or why, why she took my teeth. What does she need my teeth for? She's building a castle of teeth? What a castle of teeth smell like. Probably disgusting. <laughs> uh, Gala Tiger. Before I run uh, Ark again, I have to log out and close it. How do you feel about goblins in Warhammer? More specifically, night goblins or even squigs. I haven't actually played a lot of any Warhammer. I don't know too much about it, to be honest. Um, I know more about D&D goblins. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> do teeth count for stealing friends' bones? Yes, teeth are... You know what? Teeth count for stealing your friends' bones. But duck. <laughs> Thank you for the prime welcome. Welcome! Uh, Kamsik's Jungle! Your Wiggles. <laughs> I have to focus really intensely sometimes <laughs> whenever I do Ear Wiggles. <laughs> Takes a lot of muscle control. Uh, Benny Boy Swish, hey, thank you for the Prime. Welcome! I hope you're doing well. Uh, <laughs> Kams. Here in Mexico, Tooth Fairy doesn't exist for us. Is it? It's a rat. <laughs> Just the rats steal your teeth. I mean, like if it's, if if they eat it. I, actually, what, what would a rat do with teeth? Would it just eat your teeth? That doesn't sound too tasty. <laughs> Just the goblin. What a what would a castle of teeth smell like? What a time to pop in. Yeah. <laughs> of all the things to build your castle out of, I feel like teeth is not the best idea. You, you can make a, a better con choice of construction materials than teeth. Then again, bones are pretty strong. Who knows, maybe, maybe a castle of teeth in the right hands or for the right engineer would be a, uh, a good project. <laughs> it, would, it would last a long time. Necro Neko. Uh, play Final Fantasy 13 is the best one. Isn't that the one that everyone's been advertising? Like, Gobby Lynn was advertising it a while ago, and now the servers are too full to actually play. Or is that 15? For, for a game called with the word final in it, there aren't really any signs of it being a f <laughs> ending anytime soon. Uh, Two Claw, one more. <clears throat> excuse me. One more that one occasion I put tiny rocks under my pillow trying to scan the Tooth Fairy. Oh, that's smart. That's clever. Oh. Lily, teeth are the only bones in the human body not connected to another bone. Are they? I don't know enough about I'm not I'm not a bone doctor. I don't know enough about teeth to dispute that fact. I must accept it then, I guess. Onyx, when I was but a lad, I used to clench the tooth fairy in my fist under my pillow. Oh, it clenched the tooth in my fist under my pillow and tried to stop the fairy from robbing me of my mouth rocks. But then I'd wake up with a $5 note in my fist the next morning. Man, that tooth fairy's strong. <laughs> That's such a clever trick though, Onyx. That, that was some good thinking. Honey Gobble on Pug Squid would be so cute. On Pug Squid? Maybe I'm just, I'm, I'm just blanking. Oh gosh, the chat moved fast without me. Negi, make a crown out of teeth. Oh. Somehow, like, a crown out of, like, big predator teeth would look cool, but, like, with human teeth, just lo lo it looks bad <laughs> in my brain. <laughs> uh, bones are not immune to liquidation via vibration, bloody canvas. How do you know this? Has this been tested? <laughs> Cyber chill. Everyone loves the idea of, a, idea of a tooth fairy until they watch Hellboy. Oh, I love Hellboy. Hellboy is such a good movie. Uh, the, at least the Guillermo del Toro ones. Oh, I had the biggest crush on Abe when I was a kid. Abe was my absolute favorite character. Because I love mermaids. I, I, I loved mermaids. I still love mermaids. But when I was a kid, I loved mermaids so much. And then I was like, <gasps> he's, he's a man-maid. <laughs> He's a man mermaid! And I was instantly in love. I loved Aiden Sapiens so much. 
I still haven't watched Shape of Water. I'm so sad I haven't had time to watch it lately. <clears throat> Excuse me. Noir, uh, when I was a kid, my dad told me the Tooth Fairy was a really hot blonde. <laughs> it wasn't until I was older that I realized he was talking about my mom. <laughs> oh, that's so cute, though. That's really cute. <laughs> Grim fairy tales say the tooth fairies eat the teeth. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. Oh boy, you got those good vibrations. The ones that melt the teeth. <laughs> Cyburn, fun fact, Final Fantasy is named that because the dev was just about to give up developing games forever and it was his final attempt at his fantasy. Ah, cool. Anthony, your teeth are made out of hair like your nails. What? What? No, te teeth made out of bones. Hair and nails, yeah, they're made out of, uh, keratin, I think it's called. But, like, they're, they're bones. I'm pretty sure, anyways. Detective Moon, teeth are also the only bones that you can clean and dry. The rest will always be dirty and wet for as long as you live. Oh. Your bones are always wet. Oh, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> I mean, it's true, it's the way they should be. But also, I don't want to think about... I don't want to think about that. <laughs> Mark Blup, a Fallout inspired campaign sounds like a good idea, but obviously many things would be removed and changed though. Uh, you got any ideas for it though? Hmm. Make sure to add giant bugs. Oh, those are fun to fight. <laughs> you can also eat bugs. In D&D, eating bugs, there's not a lot of, not a lot of downsides to it, especially like giant crickets. You can eat those with very, very few, uh, hazards to your health. <laughs> yeah, let's tiger. Fun fact about teeth. All of yours are mine now? <laughs> no, give me back my teeth. I need those. I need those to chew. And to talk. <laughs> Astroblast. Goddamn wet bones. <laughs> wet bones. No. <laughs> Code Simpulator. Bugs eat bugs, period. I want to eat bugs. Like, I, wa I want to try eating... There's this thing called cricket flour. I want to give it a shot. I've heard it's really healthy for you, and I want to I wanna know if it actually is tasty. Because, like, how, how fun would that be? Just learn that crickets can be made into cookies, and it tastes good. I remember when I was a kid, I really didn't want to eat any crickets because I was worried that the legs were sharp and they would get caught on my tongue. But I'm not too worried about that anymore because I just, I learned how to chew my food. <laughs> I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> Rune Warforged, Cyberwolf, thank you so much for this. I'm so sorry I missed your messages. I got distracted by the talk of bones and tooth fairies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fleet, cool bone fact, I am approaching. <laughs> Fleet's just running to my location at high speeds. Uh, Onyx, how old were you when you lost your first tooth? I was 18 months when I lost my first tooth. Face planted on the asphalt of a golf course car park and snapped right out of my maxillary center, central incisor. Oh my gosh. Whew, that's, that's a painful way to lose a tooth. My, like, my teeth were all just lucky. I, like, I, they just got loose. My, my new bones were coming in and my old ones were just evicted from my mouth. I remember at one point I was eating like a rice crisp, like like like, like a, it's like rice krispies, but it, it's it's flat, and there's chocolate drizzled on top. I don't think they're made anymore, but like it was it was a snack. Um, I remember I was just eating one and I was chewing, and all of a sudden there was something hard in it. And it was like oh, I spat it out into my hand while my while my mom was walking on the sidewalk. And I'm like mom, I lost my tooth, and she's like well, you hold on to it. <laughs> I don't got pockets, and so I had to hold on to it while we walked home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Grim, honey, I don't think that you'll be able to function as a dentist. There's a lot of eye contact and a lot of teeth. <laughs> I don't think I could be a dentist. It's so intimate. You're right, Grim. Like, you'd be looking someone in the eye, and if you're not looking at the eye, you're just avoiding the eye contact and looking at their mouth, and it's just, you see their teeth. And you just gotta be close to someone's face. That's, that's so intimate. I would be a bad dentist. I'd be a real bad dentist. <laughs> um, 
Siberian winter. Hey, welcome back. Thank you for the reset. I hung around for a little and decided I like it here. Hope you don't mind me sticking around. Of course, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for being so cool and hanging out. Uh, <laughs> uh, Der, Der Jaeger, thank you for the prime. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Shifter Grudge, hey, thank you for the resub. Hey, honey, listening in as I fall asleep in my semi, semi truck for the night. Oh, man, I hope you sleep well. <laughs> Sleeping in a truck is kind of kind of rough. Like I've done it like once or twice, and it's it's not fun. So I hope you get some good, fulfilling rest. Uh, <laughs> let's do a quick posture check. <sighs> oh, huh, all right. And Crusader, thank you for the hydrate. <sighs> Wolves, if you have time, Google a baby skull. I already know what a baby skull looks like. It's, it, it, it makes you think, weirdly enough, if you see a baby skull. I needed to do it to study anatomy um, and like the growth of the skull and how the bones form. But like, I haven't really had much of an opportunity to look at baby skulls. It's also interesting to see how their teeth come in. It's fascinating. Omar, what happens when the tooth fairy is no longer satisfied with teeth and starts taking your other bones? <laughs> you just become Harry Potter from like, the, the second movie and your arm just flops around like jello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Real cave goblin. I don't know why, but I thought it would be a good idea to saw my baby teeth out with floss. That sounds so painful. <laughs> Are your teeth okay? Are your gums okay for that matter? <laughs> Whoa, uh... <laughs> Eludicatorix, Torix, thank you for the sub. Thank you for joining us, adventure. Hope you're having a good time here and relaxing. Uh, that is the wrong layer. There we go. And, oh, Gleety. <laughs> thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Oh man, you really didn't have to, thank you. Uh, Shaw, honey, are you using a new outfit? What's the big white thing? Oh, it's just a blanket. I just put it on top just to keep warm and cozy. Cause I'm a little sleepy today, so I'm I'm just chilling, having a good time, making sure I'm nice and comfy while I draw this expression. <laughs> Jedi leader, you should make yourself conducting a train for hype trains. Ooh, I think uh, oh, there's so many good ideas. Today's for for the most part is gonna be like keeping cleaning up like, emotes, um, cause we have a lot. We worked on a lot of them on. Last Monday, I think it was? Man, it has been a while since I streamed. This weekend was a little busy. Soon we'll finish Sekiro and then I can move on to the next Soulsborne game. Uh, <laughs> Blast Tyrant, thank you so much for the Prime. Welcome. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having fun and watching me draw this uh, spit take. <laughs> Rufflecopter, I love how Hellboy portrays tooth fairies as ravenous little vermin that got their name for having a habit of eating folks' teeth after attacking. Yeah, it was gross and dis disturbing, but I loved it. It, I, I was a weird kid. I loved dark descriptions, like like twisted monster versions of fairy tales. So like the tooth fairies were like super cool to learn about. I was I was absolutely ecstatic when I was like, oh my gosh, they're creepy now. It's great. I don't know. I think that I think Hellboy was like the introduction to my fascination with soft horror. You know, it's because Hellboy's like it's it's got some scary elements to it, but it's not actually a horror film. It's a fantasy film. Bazooka. I lost my last tooth the day before Easter. I pulled it out, and I was happy for some reason, even though it hurt. I mean, it's kind of exciting to lose your teeth. Oh, but lose your baby teeth, I should clarify. <laughs> I'll just run around and go, give me those teeth. Just put them in a bag and steal all the tooth fairy money for myself. <laughs> it was always like a big, big event whenever someone in our family lost a tooth. By big event, I mean like my siblings got super excited and would show everyone the tooth at school. Like they would hold on to it all day. It was like, it was like a pride thing. 
Negi, I got to fight Sister Freed in Dark Souls 3 and OMG loved favorite fight. Oh, Sister Freed is a fun fight. It's tough though, because it's like a two two on one at the at the end. It is a it's a tough fight, but it's it's a fun one. It's a fun, well designed one. Omega, thank you so much for the shinies. Here's all my <laughs> two fairy money. <laughs> no, you get to keep those two fairy money. That that is your hard earned teeth fall out money. The, fairy, the tooth fairy gave that to you for you to spend. Thank you though. <laughs> Honey, quick, check the art channel. Sure, yeah. Um, just make sure I'm not missing anything important. <laughs> Fleek, that's wonderful. <laughs> Fleek just drew me um, it, with the, the meme of the as the father holding the two kids on a toddler leash. <laughs> it's wonderful. Thank you, Fleek. I appreciate it. Creepa, thank you so much. Um, well, as much as I'd love to stay and chill, the graveyard shift calls. Enjoy a tip and a good night to all at the tavern. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so, so much. Yeah, you have a good shift too. Make sure you take care of yourself. All right, there's a couple expressions. Let's do this one. I love this one. It's just absolutely done with the world. <laughs> this is me whenever I wake up. Just sad. <laughs> I love to sleep. It's dreams are so nice. They're like movies, but you're the main protagonist. You don't have to empathize with someone because you are the person you gotta empathize with. Cyberwolf, time for me to get some sleep. Have a good stream. Thank you. Yeah, you have good you got some good sleep. Take it easy, okay? Oh my god, I had to punch myself in, a lot in the face to get that tooth very money. No! Why <laughs> y'all had such some of y'all had some brutal methods of getting teeth out of your bone, out of your skull. They, they would have fallen out by themselves, you know. Well, I guess as a kid, we, you're kind of impatient. That's fair. We all did silly things as kids. But we know better now. Right? <laughs> Butt Duck, have you ever done any Souls level 1 runs in Souls Likes? I've done Dark Souls 1 and 2. They're very satisfying. Feels like the first time completing them. And he's soul level one. So like starting as a, um, with like just 10 and everything. Cause that, that is a fun run. I've done one run of that in Dark Souls 1. It's pretty interesting. Fleek, speaking of teeth and dream, I dream a lot of losing my teeth and it's starting to creep me out. Oh yeah, those, those dreams suck. Cause you can't control it either. It's just, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, that's right later. Okay. Dragonix, adorb stickers, can't wait to see when they finished. Yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm super excited to <laughs> see when they're finished. Uh, <laughs> Creepo, thank you so much for the bits. And GD Fenix, thank you so much. Uh, our, our please. <laughs> There's a redeem for it. I put a cooldown on it, but uh, oh. <laughs> Just in time for me to sing a song. All right. Let's pull up these lyrics. Here we go. This one's also a little bit of a shorter song, but it's it's one that people have been asking for for a while, and I do know it. Uh, it's I think it's by Frank Sinatra, and it's called Fly Me to the Moon. <laughs> it's a nice one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gecko, stay level one throughout all the game. Oh gosh, I've never done that before. <laughs> that sounds like a, a really hard way to play the game. Uh. <laughs> all right, uh, yep, I turn off the music. <laughs> Just this in the background <laughs> as I sing such a like romantic sounding song. <laughs> all right, all right. <clears throat> I'll drink a little bit. <laughs> All right, yeah. Let's see. Hey, y'all. Hope you're doing good. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. 
In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. Fill my heart with song, let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, in other words, I love you. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I love Frank Sinatra songs and Nat King Cole. Very, very good. <laughs> there we go. Back to art. <laughs> Dear Jager, gobble stream with a cup of tea and a packet of biscuits. Hobnobs, if you're wondering. Chocolate and caramel flavor. And did I come to heaven after I died from that song? <laughs> I'm glad y'all liked it. It's it's a it's a very nice song to sing. Oh, I love I love that era of songs just because it's it's very easy on my voice. Ethos, honey, I'm about to fight Papa Guacamole. Can I get some good luck? Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Auntie Apple, are you sure you aren't secretly a mermaid trying to seduce us with your voice? <laughs> I'm not graceful enough to be a mermaid, but thank you. Necromancer, nice song. The problem is I'm playing Doom. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a definitely a tone shift there. <laughs> In fact, even even just this stream is is different than Doom, just tone tonally. <laughs> Todd Fox, thank you so much for the shinies. Your voice is beautiful. Oh, that, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad y'all like it. <laughs> Uh, bazooka. Someone save up 4,000 points so I can clip her saying ara ara. <laughs> There's so many clips of me saying ara ara. <laughs> I'm sure that if, if, if you don't get the 4,000 points, you can probably just look up a clip and it'll be there. <laughs> Sir Elk, expertise, expertise in performance for sure. Oh yeah, I am definitely a bard. It's, it's in, my, in, my, in my skills, in my blood. Took one level in Monk though, just just in case I needed it. Thankfully, I haven't really needed it. Necro and Echo, thank you for the hydrate. Kinda sad. Hey boss, finally got out of work, so I get to enjoy the stream. Nice. Oh, you get to relax a little bit. That's good. Anti apple, honey, glad your tummy is feeling better. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad too. It, having a tummy ache sucks. Cipher, I've been. <laughs> I've been in more of your streams and inspired me to draw more of my favorite character, Bill Cipher. Oh, nice! Oh, Bill, Bill's a great character. <laughs> I love Gravity Falls so much. Such a good show. Um, oh, the Owl House is so good, too. It's got big Gravity Falls vibes. I mean, it makes sense, because Dana Terrace, I think, is married to Alex Hirsch, so it makes sense that they'd have similar personalities. Uh, or similar tastes, at least. <clears throat> Hello, Moral. <clears throat> Excuse me, a voice cracked. Just wrote a short story about goblins because of your streams. Thanks for the inspiration. Of course, I'm, I'm glad I could help you get into writing. Or, I guess, write a story about goblins. I'm not sure how to word that, sorry. Uh, Catwolf. Hi, everyone. How are you doing today? We're doing pretty good. Just doing some art and taking it easy. It's been a... It's, <laughs> I say this a lot, but, like, weeks are always weird. You never really know how they're going to go, so you just sort of... Gotta take it easy when you can. <laughs> I'm 
Moon. Thank you for wonderfully singing that wonderful song. It hits very close to home for me. Oh, of course. I'm, I'm glad you liked it. A lot of people have been suggesting it, and it is a very good song, so... I thought, why not? I think it'd be good. Fleek. One level in Monk, honey, kick your ass ASMR is a possibility. <laughs> Just punch a bag with a microphone like, nearby. Uh, Crazy Bry Guy, do you know that Vion Rose? I'd love to hear you sing it. I'm saving up channel points for your redeem. Ooh, I do know a little bit of the song. Not a whole lot of it, though. If you like Gravity Falls and Owl House, you gotta watch Amphibia. I love Amphibia so much. Oh, I love Amphibia. Hot Pop is is hilarious. Ugh, oh, he's, 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 a, he's a funny old man. He just wants to protect his grandkids. And Anne. There we go, that's good. <laughs> Drunk. Gotta remember to save. Whoa, Omega! Thank you so much for the shinies! Okay, I need to go to bed. Now everyone remember, you don't need to pay the Gavo tax. You also do need all your teeth and integral organs, so keep that in mind. Anyway, that's it for me. Remember to tip and hug <laughs> your Gavo. <laughs> I mean, thank you, but... What, what, a, what a load of information to drop on us right as you're leaving. <laughs> Just walking out the door going like, remember, you don't need all your teeth and bones, and you don't need all your organs. <laughs> Thanks for that, Omega. <laughs> Girl Cripple, have you killed a man, honey? <laughs> uh, venom Venomized Devourer. Ear wiggles. Ear wiggles for all. For all. Uh, Hernopolis, thanks for the song, but it looks like I can't keep my eyes open due to the sleep. I'll be back next chance I can to catch your stream, so now I'm off to bed. Yeah, get some sleep. Thank you for dropping by. Uh, <laughs> Phoenix, you have such TV taste. Thank you. Oh, it's... Oh, I love... Uh, D Disney does some weird shows, but, like, they really went off with Amphibia, Owl House, and, um... Uh, Gravity Falls. They, they really hired the right people to run shows for that. It's impressive. And the writers. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, Cobra. Weeks like a box of chocolates. They're always one with coffee inside that ruins everything. <laughs> I think marzipan's the worst one, though. Like, you bite in expecting, like, a caramel or, or even just, like, a wafer bar in it, and then you get marzipan. Marzipan's good, just not with chocolate. In my opinion, anyways, but like, yeah. <laughs> kind of sad. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you. Uh, Lycan, third sign's the charm because every time I tried, chat moves so fast. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um, on topic of bones, there are three in each of your ears that connect to the eardrum and translate the vibrations to the cochella. They are not connected directly to the skull and they are the smallest bones in the body. Huh. Is that why I can do this? <laughs> that's why that's why I can wiggle my ears with extra dexterity. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cams. Too bad Disney only always wants to do three only want only s three seasons like always, and sometimes that doesn't work. Yeah, sometimes that uh, that that sucks. Um, I mean, like, three seasons is a good chunk though. Like. I am glad that they get three seasons and it's not just cut off without surprise. I feel like so long as the creators have advanced notice, like as they're starting the show, that it'll only go for a certain amount of time, they have enough time to write a proper ending, you know? So it can it can be a satisfying show from beginning to end. Trans girl, thank you for the posture check. Oh. My arms need a good stretch. Ooh. PC Viking just took a melatonin time to speed run sleep. <laughs> yeah, get some rest. Try breathing really deeply if you're trying to go to sleep fast. I find that helps. Uh, <laughs> blood for the blood gone. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for the resub. Good to see you here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, King Draco. Let's take care of that redeem. Hey, sugar. 
<laughs> I hope y'all aren't staying up too late. <laughs> you gotta sleep. You gotta get a good sleep schedule. I didn't sleep until late last night and now I'm kind of regretting it a little bit. I'm, I'm a little less energetic than usual. That's okay. Kelu, ma'am, I love your chill streams. Helps a lot preventing my liver of exploding stress. Uh, liver of exploding of stress from the day of work and dealing with the mad loud bosses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, work can really be really stressful. Please make sure to take care of yourself and I'm, I'm glad I can help you calm down a little bit. Work is really tough, so pat yourself on the back. You're doing good. <laughs> Onyx, nothing screams world ending calamity quite like biting into a chocolate only to find out too soon <laughs> that it got some manner of fruit filling, be it orange or cherry. Ooh. I love I love the cherry like um, cherry bourbon filling or something cherry whiskey. It, it's some it's some alcohol and cherry inside of chocolate. It's delicious. I like it so much. Something about Mars pan doesn't work though. <laughs> Skilled potato. I would love to hear you sing Beauty and the Beast theme songs. Oh, that's a good one. Beauty and the Beast. Tell us old as time. I don't know if it's all copyrighted, but uh, that is a really good one. <laughs> That's a good song. Anonymous friend, I never sleep. I just blink for a long time. <laughs> you just you just close your eyes and lay down in your bed. You don't sleep. Just sit there and enjoy it. Atlas, the world builder. Random question. If you had to pick one household item to gain sentience, which would you pick and why? A household item for sentience. Oh, remarie. Or remarie. Liquor, yeah, cherry liquor. You're right, you're right. That's 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 a good chocolate. Uh, but a, a, an item to gain sentience. Here's the thing, I wouldn't know what their, their personality would be. I would probably get... My first thought was, what if I, I give my computer sentience? That way my computer could probably tell me what's wrong with it. But then I also thought, hey, what if my computer has an annoying personality and I need my computer so it, I can't get rid of it? So maybe like a survival book in case I ever need to go on a hike and I can be like, hey, quick question, is this water safe to drink? And they can be like, no, you dumbass, <laughs> don't drink still water. And I'll be like, cool, thanks for saving me book and then put it back in my backpack. Impure flame. Who needs to take care of myself when I have an angel serenading me to sleep? <laughs> I do my best. Uh, Auntie Apple, have you ever watched any Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon shows? Yes. Oh, I love Avatar. Avatar's so good. A lot of Cartoon Network shows are really good, like Adventure Time, um... Steven Universe. I don't know why I blanked on Steven Universe. Uh, there's a couple more. But for some reason, the only one I can remember is Teen Titans Go, and I despise that one. Just for the, the original one was good. I don't know what they did. They made it worse. <laughs> Phoenix, just imagine her singing the theme song from Miraculous Ladybug. Oh. I did watch Miraculous Ladybug for a good chunk of... Um, seasons one through three it was very good i liked it it's it's <laughs> it's a chaotic show but it's it, it has very a very fun attitude and i love it uh napalm is that survival book written narrated narrated by super milk chan <laughs> no if, if i could choose i would have it narrated by uh dave attenborough the, the nature documentary guy. Oh, I think that'd be great. Striker Nerva. Hey, honey. First time watching you stream. Won't be here long, but so nice to see you. Yeah, thank you so much for joining. Don't sweat it if you gotta head out. Thanks for dropping by anyways. Uh, Remari, what did Teen Titans do? Uh, Teen Titans Go just... It, it, it's a reboot of the original Teen Titans TV show, and it's not... They really dumped it down for kids. So if for kids, I understand. It is... It's not for people who used to like the show. But the original was so good. 
it, it, it really felt like a superhero show for teens. Like, Young Justice, but a little bit more Monster of the Weeky. That is the wrong layer to draw on. It had a really good character. And its action was really good. The stories were very fun. And the problems they solved were all very, very good. And they taught good lessons. Wolves, why not give the backpack sentience? Also thinking of that, I am now convinced that backpack from door is a sentient bag of holding. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right. Oh my gosh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> backpack must be so tired of door talking to the audience. Uh, Sir Elk, I heard that they're making a new avatar and Netflix is doing a live action Avatar The Last Airbender. It could be good. You know what? I'm not gonna post past judgment yet. It could be good. Uh, I just think the original is perfect. Like you don't need to. No, you don't need to do anything. Make make new Avatar series. Like Korra was not a sequel to Avatar that that um, everyone wanted because apparently there was a lot of behind the scenes stuff that um, Nickelodeon was messing with the creators. So I think um, if Netflix just lets the creators, not the creators, the the writers of Avatar uh, just go wild with whatever they have in mind. Like, I think it could be good. Night Owl. Fun fact, my doggo can't stay awake when listening to your stream. Aww. <laughs> That's really cute. Aww. Uh, Noir, you also had Ron Perlman, Hellboy as Slade. Oh my gosh. I love Ron Perlman's voice. Fun fact, I also had a crush on Hellboy when I was a kid. That movie was just full of beautiful monster people. Ugh. Love them. Except that uh, Hellboy was a little bit of an immature kid. Like, he, 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 was an, he was a bit of a brat. Um, understandably so, because it made sense for his character. But, like, Abe was just the coolest fish man I had ever seen. I loved Abe so much. Big crush on Abe. Ever heard of Symbiotic Titan? I have heard of it. I haven't watched any of it. I've, s I've seen the designs and it looks really good, but no, I haven't watched it. Detective Moon, oh my gosh, Detective Moon, thank you so much for the sub. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're having fun. I <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, <laughs> Holiday, Telepathic Fish Man. Oh my gosh, yeah, he was so, he was, he read these classical books and was so sophisticated and he was just a mer guy. Listen, listen, that, that, that checked out all my boxes when I was a kid. I was like, oh, he's so, he's so cool. And he's a merman and he reads books. My standards were very, very simple when I was a child. <laughs> that's all, that's all you needed to get a crush from me <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> Maybe I'll sing like Little Mermaid songs. That could be fun. No, I think we discovered Honey's type, y'all. <laughs> Fish man. <laughs> listen, listen, my, my my tastes have since become broader. And now now I really, really like just general like fantasy characters. I do have a soft spot for Fishman though, because of Abe Sapien. Thanks, Hellboy. <laughs> Cobra, so what you're saying is that Hellboy triggered your interest in monster people. Exactly. <laughs> I will not deny this. <laughs> oh, I gotta rewatch Hellboy. The second movie was also really good. I loved it so much. Ugh. Actually, you know what? I watched Hellboy 2 before I watched Hellboy 1 when I was a kid. My cousins, I was i was a little kid. My cousins snuck me into the theater um, to watch the second movie because, you know, my, my parents forced them to take me to do something because my parents didn't want to take care of me while I was on vacation for a day. And so they sent me out with my cousins and they were like, well, we want to watch Hellboy, but you haven't seen the first one. And I was like, I don't really care. I'm just a baby and my cousins are really cool and I want to impress them. Uh, so I went in to watch it, and little did I know, I walked in as a 
innocent child and came out with a uh, a crush on a merman. Uh, Der Jaeger, just a 326 thought, please go to sleep. Uh, Sir David Attenborough, reading all the books you have. Oh my gosh. I, I, you know what? The thing is, I would learn so much, but then after like 30 minutes, I would just probably fall asleep. Such a, such a kind, learned voice that you can listen to for hours. But, uh, Hellboy is actually on Prime. I was literally watching it earlier today. Uncanny. Oh. Uh, I don't have Amazon. I, actually, I might. I might have Amazon Prime through my mom's account. I don't know if she canceled it yet, so maybe I'll have to check it out later. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stargos, thank you so so much for the shinies. Oh my gosh, you didn't have to. Hello, I thank you for the hydrate. Uh, <laughs> Bella, sorry, thank you for the Prime. Welcome. All right, let's finish off this tea. Uh, and cams again. <laughs> all right, all right. Ara ara. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Whew. Onyx. <clears throat> Thank you so much for the shinies, but honestly, you didn't have to. <laughs> None are above the law to of taxation. <laughs> Everyone trying to hide from the R IRS. <laughs> Especially the Gobbo IRS. They bite your shins. <laughs> nine the nine, thank you for the gift and sub. Thank you so, so much. Whoa, Smurf Jr. I didn't know you were here. Thanks. Thank you so much for the bits. Fleek. Listen, listen, my staff have to stop giving me <laughs> giving me stuff. Please. <laughs> Shoot. Um <laughs> Please, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Oh gosh. Uh Cobra, how am I supposed to even get a chance with Honey if she has such unrealistic standards? How is a simple man supposed to develop guilds? <laughs> Just jump into the water and scream at yourselves. Evolve! Evolve, damn you! <laughs> <laughs> Star goes, thank you so much. This is where I pay my taxes. Oh my gosh, yeah. <sighs> I should just have like a box in front of me that says taxes. <laughs> Drop your coin here. <laughs> Mark Blip, have you ever read Artemis Fowl before? It's an absolutely amazing book series. Yes, I love Artemis Fowl. It was one of the first fantasy books I read as a kid. It's just so good. I love it so much. Sedi Fleck, thank you for the posture check. Whew. Whoa, that's good, that helps. That helps my shoulders. Oh, what? What? Um, Wolfridges? What do you think you're doing? What, what, are, what are you doing? Why would you give me 20 gifted subs? That's so much! What the heck? Oh my gosh, you really didn't have to! That if... Wolfridge... <laughs> Thank you! What the heck? Oh my gosh! Oh gosh! Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that! Except, uh, yeah, mess me too. I'll put some headbands on for you. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> oh my gosh, please. Uh, <laughs> like, and you and Pompina both have personalities that makes one forget that you swear regularly. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't swear too often. Um, just in case, like, you know, there's, there's, there's kids in the audience for whatever reason. I try to keep it to a minimum. But occasionally one will slip out and surprise everyone and everyone goes... <gasps> She said, she said a bad word. She said a word. We're not supposed to say that word. And then I go, oops. <laughs> and I, oop. <laughs> but yeah, often, like, sometimes I drop by Pumpy's streams and I'm like, oh, Pumpy, you, you're so wholesome and good and kind and you make me feel so happy whenever I'm at your streams. Uh, and then suddenly she'll drop an F-bomb and I'm like, oh, wait, Pumpy. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> I forgot. I do it too. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Joseph, how, how much will this drawing cost? Which one? The, the, the emote? Uh, it, it's, it's free. Well, I mean, like, to, to, to see it right now. Um, but it's, they're sub emotes. So you get to use them if you sub. I wonder, uh, it'd be nice if there was a way to give out, like, free emotes. I'd like that. Just cause, like, I don't want everyone to, I don't want people to have to feel like they have to pay to participate in, in my, uh, streams, you know? It'd be nice if I could give out some free emotes. If there is a way, please tell me. <laughs> Blanky. <laughs> Am I a child? Perhaps. Wait, no. I'm an adult. I'm just immature. <laughs> Too close. I'll, I'll say it before. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. If you like reading fantasy, the Stormlight Archive is must-read. Yeah, I think you mentioned that before. I haven't picked it up. I I'm, I really want to go to the library. Things are op slowly opening up in my area. We're a little cautious right now, but I think like the libraries are still open, so I want to check it out. Uh, <laughs> Ethis, honey, what should I run? Whirl gig saw or bow blade? Ooh, the whirly gig's fun, but I think I think the bow I, I think the bow blade would be good. Alucard, it's only shocking because you are honestly the most wholesome streamer I've watched. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm just like, I think Mango might be the most wholesome streamer I've ever seen. Mango is uh, just the most wholesome burb you will ever meet. And you will have so much fun watching her dance and just vibing with her. She's so cool. Love Mango. Also a tasty treat. <laughs> Don't eat birds, ladies and gents. I wonder if there's a phrase for like ladies, gents, and NBs. Yeah, I guess you just say ladies, gents, and NBs. Squiddy McGee, hey! <laughs> I love your username, by the way. Thank you so much for the prime. Welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Also, <laughs> I'm just looking at the notification like Wolf Reggie's. <laughs> Jeez, you spoiled me way too much. What is this? What is this? What what have you done? <laughs> Thank you though. Um Stargos, probably I've been asked, but have you seen Hollow Live yeah and Gen 2? I have seen pictures. I haven't watched any of their streams. Um They're very colorful. Very in a very interesting way. Um I'm, I'm very curious to, to see what their streams are going to be like and what their personality is going to be like. It's always fun to see how, how the designs of VTubers match up when you look at their personalities. Because sometimes they're, you see an absolutely elegant dragon queen and then she's an absolute hamster. <laughs> or a gremlin and it's really funny. Um, <laughs> let's see and then... Like there, there's there's a whole bunch of very fun discoveries you get to make when someone just starts streaming. It's like, oh, okay, well, the first couple streams are gonna be fun, but like when they loosen up and when they start taking it easy with their streams, what's their personality gonna be like? What are their, what are their, what are their catchphrases? <laughs> what's their most common go-to for curse words? <laughs> Death Muffin, hey, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Chibi Aurelia, hey honey, is your tummy feeling better? No more forbidden candy? Yeah, my tummy's feeling better, so no more forbidden candy for me, and that's okay. On the plus side, if I get sick again, I get to eat the forbidden candy. But if I'm not sick, then I don't have a tummy ache, and so I feel better. Oh, this is a good one. Let's do this one. Real quickly, though. Uh, I'm gonna disappear. Gone. I have vanished. I just had to turn on my lamp light. It's getting dark. I'm gonna open my window a little bit. Ah, oh, there we are. I don't want it to be too dark, otherwise it'll be too hard on my eyes. 
There we go. <laughs> Super weird plush. I love mango as well. Oh, mango so cute. So, so cool. Uh, <laughs> Kurokage Rai. Hello, honey goblin. Love the outfit. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tarmbo Rad. Just hit, <laughs> just hit them with the hello meat popsicles. <laughs> Uh, Wolf Reggie's, to answer your question, this is all part of my villainous plot to bring mankind under the banner of wholesomeness. <laughs> Laughs maniacally. <laughs> Why are we thinking? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested to see how the, the villainous plot goes. Keep me updated. <laughs> Alucard, we spoil you because we all love you. Oh, but it's just... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. I, I'm, I'm still not used to being spoiled. I don't know if I ever will be. And I, I think of all the things to not be able to adjust to, I think that's okay. I don't know, my, my brain's just not used to being showered with affection. It's, it's, it's an interesting feeling. <laughs> A name among many, ladies, gentlemen, those neither both Neither, both, or in between. I present the most wholesome goblin I've ever seen. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Bear Palm. I have to go to the dentist tomorrow and I get my second shot afterwards. I'm going to be tired. Oh, yeah. Take it easy after that. That's a lot of things. That's a lot of things for one day, so. Congrats on getting your second shot, though. That's going to be cool. You're going to get the 5G. Hope it works out well. Still waiting for my connection. Uh, one day th those jokes will get old. Cans, honey, do you watch Hell of a Boss? If you do, what do you think of the animation in the last episode? <gasps> Yo, it was so good. It was so good. Oh, I loved it so much. I was, I was, I was kind of wondering why the last episode was taking so long. And to be fair, productions sometimes have different hiccups for whatever reasons, or maybe that was part of their plan as an internet um, show. But like it, oh, the, there's just so much good animation in that sixth episode. It's incredible, and and good character building too. I love it so much. Oh, so good. Alucard, gob tax is our way of saying shut up and take my money, but without the shut up part. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, Regis, I'd actually recommend Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Irms or Eames. The best summary I can give is to imagine your dad having to write a D&D campaign and that being turned into a book. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. The Robert Mischief, I need a Stolas. Oh, he <laughs> Stolas is such a well-designed character. I love Stolas. Uh, Baldrick Hood, yo, who saw the new Spider-Man trailer? I haven't seen it, but I saw a couple Twitter spoilers. Spider-Man? A, a Spider-Man? Which Spider-Man is it? I'm excited. <laughs> I love Spider-Man ever since I was a kid. I think... I'm trying to remember the my favorite superhero character when I was a kid. And I think it was after watching Spectacular Spider-Man. I love... The designs in that show are incredibly good. I love it so, so much. I'm so sad it only got two seasons. Must have made you, thank you for the hydrate. Oh, where's my water bottle? There it is. Let it disappear for a sec. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, uh, water's so nice. Cyberchill, love the shadow demon design of Stolas and how close it is to his description how it's close to his description. Yeah, oh. For, for like, for one second, a lot of the smoke effects looked like the effects from Castlevania and it was incredibly f good to look at. Oh, top notch eye candy. <laughs> Chef's kiss, ah. My favorite superhero as a kid was the Power Rangers. Ooh, I never I never watched the Power Rangers. I think, I think like, I must have, must have skipped my parents' minds when they were looking for TV shows for me to watch. I know my cousins liked it. Um, they also liked He-Man. <laughs> I have a lot of older cousins. I 
think the the first cartoon I can remember. Hmm. First superhero cartoon I can remember is probably. Yeah, it's probably just the uh, the. I think the Amazing Spider-Man, where it's like the '90s cartoon. I remember getting a bunch of DVDs for that. That was cool. It, it was really good. And then it had a, one of the episodes had a crossover with the X-Men. And that was a, that was like mind blowing when I was a kid. I was like, whoa, it's Wolverine. <laughs> Mega Scrub, I love that new episode of Hell of a Boss. Um, that Millie and Luna got some, I love that Millie and Luna got some spotlight together. Yeah, oh, Luna, I love Luna's fighting style as well as Millie's. It's, everyone has a different fighting style and that is really cool. I, it, I'm so glad the the writers and storyboarders kept that in, into account because sometimes with with fight scenes everyone has the same fight style, and it's not as interesting to watch. But like for them, each one of them has a different style of killing people, and it's super super interesting. How would I hope this is okay to ask? But what is the best way to approach you about making a commission? <laughs> so currently, uh, my commissions are closed, and my Twitter is locked. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to fix that right now. So if if my Twitter is not back up in about four to five days, what I'll probably do is I will create another Twitter. Um, and then um, I, I have a link in my Twitter bio, my current Twitter bio, whether my commissions are open as well as what my terms of service are. Um, but once the commission slots open, there will be an application form on the link. Right now the application form is disabled, so no, not taking any commissions currently. I have one more model to finish. I'm super excited to finish it. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so cool. I could do a whole lineup of all the models I've made and show them off and they're, they're gonna look so freaking awesome. I'm so excited to see them all in action. I think there's only, the only one that hasn't debuted is the one I'm currently working on, which like makes sense. It's gonna be so good. Oh, it's gonna be, I'm so excited. I love making models. But yeah, um, normally uh, if you want to see if a commission works, you could DM me on Twitter and say like, hey, would this be possible? Or could I look at a different artist for this? But because my DMs are closed, well, not, not closed, um, my account is restricted. I can't post, like, retweet, follow, or message anyone. So I can literally just see my regular timeline, but I can't interact with anyone and Twitter support hasn't gotten back to me on that. I've messaged them a couple times now. But that's all right. I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just take it easy. Random user, hi. Hey, yeah. Uh, odd art, or odd art. Speaking of shows, I gotta ask, ever watch Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> yes, I have watched some Yu-Gi-Oh. Not a whole bunch. Um, it, there's there's a lot of really really long episodes where nothing really happens and they explain pot of greed 15 times not 15 times like twice in one episode every episode and it's just it's so it, it's very it's very spread out um so i watched a little bit of it but i got kind of bored because my attention span couldn't keep up with it Like, wait, Pot of Greed, what does it do? <laughs> Joey, explain what Pot of Greed does. <laughs> uh, no wonder Pot of Greed got banned for a while. Not just game-wise, but just everyone was sick and tired of hearing <laughs> people explain what Pot of Greed does. <laughs> yeah, sometimes Bun and I play, um, play some Yu-Gi-Oh. And I... I run a um, light fairy deck, and it's very, very fun. There's one with counter traps, and there's one where you you um, you focus on using your trap cards. It's good. It's good. Cyberchill, I'm trying to look for a good artist for a possible model. Do you have any you can recommend? Depends. Are you looking for 3D or 2D? Um, for 2D, there's Kira Omori. Um, you can you can try to reach out to Iron Vertex. I think they might be full right now. They're they're a, a VTuber model. Um, they're, they're they're known for their VTuber models. They've done a lot for Hololive and for V Shoujo, and a lot of indie VTubers. So you can check them out. 
Iron Vertex is what they're called. Castle Jeff, hey, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Gecko, thank you so much for the shinies. <laughs> Um, but Cybershill, if you're looking for a 3D model, there's um, Yulee's. I think uh, they did the model for Meriwether, um, as well as uh, oh, Meriwether's sibling. Oh, they're, they're a wolf or, or, or a cat boy. Oh, shoot. I'm blanking on their name. But yeah, they, they do uh, 3D models, as well as if you want to go for the ones that um, they're expensive. The, for this artist, but very much worth it. They do uh, the art gun, does models for uh, V Shoujo, Girl DM, um, uh, who else? There's a couple more. Uh, I know there's Buff Pup has a 3D model, and the artist that does Buff Pup's model is really cool. That for, that's for a 3D model, so yeah. Oh, and AI Candy, yeah, thanks, thanks, Kink Chen, um, Kink Chen, uh, yeah, AI Candy, uh, is model is done by the art gun. Gecko, hey, honey, I have to ask you, what does Pot of Greed do? <laughs> Let me pull up the description of Pot of Greed, because, let's be real, I hate, <laughs> I never use Pot of Greed. <laughs> I've just, Bun has read it out to me so often, that it's just, it just no longer registers as words in my mind. Yeah, it's literally just draw two cards. I draw two cards. Pot of greed. I hate it. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I still have the headbats on. Let me let me get rid of those for a sec. Uh, <laughs> Orbital locket. I'm gonna go game with my brother if I'm not back before the stream ends. Thanks for the stream, honey. Oh no worries. Have fun with you, bro. Hope you have a good stream. Oops. <laughs> or not a good stream. Have, hope you have a good game. I got distracted by dragging the wrong thing. Girl DM's model is crazy impressive. Yeah, um, the art gun is super good at um, rigging models as well as um, anyone who uses the art gun's models typically has an iPhone 10 or, or higher so that the face tracking can work really, really well with it. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of things combining to make a super good model. I want to get a model that's compatible with VR chat. I don't know if that's possible. Or I don't know if you have to get them separate, but uh, I would love to get one or make one. I do want to learn how to make one, but that could take a lot more time. So fleet, wait, I didn't hear that. What does it do? <laughs> You draw two cards, Bone Boy. You draw two cards when you play Pot of Greed. <sighs> oh, Pot of Greed. <laughs> Huff's like, hey, thanks for the year wiggle. <laughs> uh, Reynard Martell, I just got here, but I love your model. Oh, thank you. I made it myself. I'm wearing a blanket right now, so a lot of it's covered. Uh, there we go. We got this. <laughs> Just Gandalf. Dab. Games. Let's do an anger. Fleet. So, like, I play it and I draw a card twice. Is that what it does? Listen. 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 I know your game is mischief, man. <laughs> Get out of here. You cause too much mis too much mischief in my stream. <laughs> Gecko, I'm sorry to make you suffer with all our dumb means. Nah, it's fun. It's funny. <laughs> it's really fun to have y'all here too. Gives me a little comfort. Cams, thank you for the posture check. Please don't crack neck. Please don't crack neck. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, Rimare. VR chat has terrible protection from avatar stealing, so if you want to get an avatar for VR chat, I'd say don't put too much effort into it, as people will always find a way to rip out, rip it out. Oh, really? Dang. Ah, oh, well, well. I, I kind of like to put as much effort as I can into something, but if someone rips my model, that kind of sucks. So maybe, I, maybe I won't do anything online. Who knows? I still, I still have to look into how VR chat works. I'm not 100% sure on how it actually works. Like, do you just... 
connect online automatically? Or can you go into your own separate server, you know, that no one else can enter? So I'll have to do a bit more research, see how people build their models, you know? Uh, Death Muffin, I think you get two extra land cards. <laughs> no. Rimuray, yeah, I saw people walking around with Nyaner's avatar um, she uses on stream in public worlds. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, oh, that's too bad. Oh, well. I mean, like, yeah, it, it sucks when people steal um, steals models, but I do want to learn, and I will put, I will, most of the time when I do something, I like to put as much effort as I can, can possibly put into it. Um, I like to go hard or go home, you know? Especially when it comes to art. There are things I can do to help out to prevent people stealing things, but yeah, I'm not familiar enough with VR chat and the 3D world to really understand how that works. Archive, there's an odd, there's an add-on someone made that makes Avatar require a password to load. Oh, that's actually pretty smart. I'll have to, oh man, so many things I have to look into now. I mean, like it's good. It's good to have the have the option to look at this information. RM Landgraf. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, <laughs> the Hollow Die. Hey, honey, who would you recommend to commission for a fairly inhuman looking monster model? Oh, hmm. <sighs> I think you would have to look up a bunch of, look at a bunch of models online. Like just go to YouTube and look at, look up live 2D showcase. And a lot of the times you can see a bunch of different types of VTuber models. And you can see if you can find something similar to what you're looking for, or it has a general like, gist of kind of the, the type of monster you're looking for. And then you can reach out to them through either YouTube or their Twitter. Um, I love working on really strange designs, so I wouldn't mind taking a crack on it, but it might be a little bit until my commission's open because uh, after this last model commission, I'm taking a break so that I don't burn out. Won't be too long of a break. Might be about two-ish to, th yeah, probably two-ish to two and a half months. Three at most, just because I really like making models and I, I doubt I can hold myself back. <laughs> Actually, that should be a hair piece. I just got the song Mixed Messages stuck in my head right now. And you know what? It's, it's a really good song. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, uh, Gat Gala Tiger, Gala Tiger. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. I'd look into it personally. She might have given out, so given out or something. I don't know her that well though. Oh, okay. Goblin logic. Death muffin. Holy Shazam! I can highlight messages. Yeah, yeah, you can highlight messages. Oh, Barry. <laughs> Barry, what what are you doing here? Welcome, welcome, raiders. <laughs> Oh, the Collector Raven. Hey, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Three months with honey. Do I get into the VIP section yet? <laughs> I actually haven't added anyone to the VIP section. Heck, I'm still I'm still learning about Twitch. Um, I'm learning so slow about Twitch. Some of it, some of its interface is really hard for me to, to understand. But thank you so much for the resub. Uh, but Barry, <laughs> how are you doing, Barry? Oh, it's it's good to see ya. <laughs> Bug bear raid. Oh, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. <laughs> Just doing some chill art right now. Gonna do some emotes because I've been partner for what? A month and a half now? And I haven't added more emotes, so I figured it's about time. It's about time. I have the option, so I should. <laughs> Barry, doing great. Just beat Everhood. Oh, congrats! That's really cool. I, I don't know much about Everhood. Um, <laughs> But it's always satisfying when you end a game, you know? I think the only game I was ever sad to end was Undertale, because I wanted more. I wanted it to keep going. But, like, that's a sign of a good game, you know? Most of the time, anyways. Bear for nine and wait all the way to partner? Yeah, I'm partnered. <laughs> I've been partnered for a little while now. <laughs> I don't I don't have enough um, e <laughs> emotes drawn to actually add them in yet. Uh, <laughs> Rima Ray, she protects, she attacks, but most importantly, she pout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Meerkat Twitch. I missed out on an hour and a half of the stream, but at least I finally made it to one for once. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much for coming. Don't sweat it if you're ever late for a stream. Uh, <laughs> Papa Hunty, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, excuse me. Oh, it's loud. <laughs> I should probably get like a metal straw or something. <laughs> Maybe I'll get it like a baby sippy cup so that I can sip water without my model going wild. <laughs> Death Muffin. Bugbear versus VS Goblin. Definitely unbalanced and uncounter. Yeah, Barry could probably just crush me under his feet. Squish me like a bug. Then again, goblins are very dexterous. Might be able to jump out of the way. <laughs> uh... Reynard Martel, I'm curious if you do commissions, and if so, how might uh, how someone might go about commissioning you? Um, on my Twitter page, there is a link that leads to my terms of service as well as my to commission applications. Currently, they're closed, so the application form is not there. Whoops, that is the wrong color. Uh, but I do take commissions. Um, I will probably, if I don't get my Twitter back in about in a couple days, I'll create a new Twitter, link it to my Twitch, so y'all can find it easier. And then announce on there and my regular Twitter um, through the bio when my commissions open. I'm not sure. I've never had to worry about the volume of commissions before, so this is going to be an interesting process. I might have to do kind of an elimination um, because I can only take on so many commissions. I don't want it necessarily to be first come first serve because you know time zones. Some people can't wake up in time for my commissions open. Um, so I will, I will have to think about how to do that before I open my commissions. <laughs> Onyx, get a crazy straw. That's the way to sip in style. Oh, that's tempting. I want to get some sippy straw, some crazy straws. Like I want one to go all the way around my head. <laughs> it was like those, um, <laughs> the beer cans are attached to a hat. <laughs> I want to make one of those. There we go. Sir Elk, don't forget about Fury of the Small. Yeah, Fury of the Small is a very good trait. Or is it a trait or a feat? Anyway, it's very good. <laughs> it's good for fights. <laughs> Honey, I just beat the Blood Starved Beast, but I died at the same time because of poison. Oh, man. I mean, like, you beat it, so I, hopefully it doesn't respawn unless you want to fight it again. But, like, congrats! That's awesome. Mr. Snacks, how many emotes can you have? Um, I can have, I have currently, I think six, and I can add about 25 more right now. So th that's why I have a whole big selection. Do my best. Uh, let's go to the eyes. Warlord Cressa, hey, thank you for the reset with Prime. Hey, thank you so much. Gobbo support, Gobbo support. <laughs> thank you. Oh man, y'all are too nice. Uh, two claw. I want more gob, but need sleep. Have a good night, honey. Oh, don't sweat it. You gotta sleep. Sleep's super... I'll... <laughs> I sound like a broken record sometimes, but sleep's really important. Thanks for dropping by, but yeah, get some sleep. Uh... <laughs> Fleek, open commission and choose favorites depending on which design you want to do more. That is something that a lot of people with models do. Um, and I, I might have to consider that. But also, like... <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm, I have a hard time saying no sometimes. Um, so I have to be careful about what jobs I accept because unfortunately <laughs> I'm very used to saying yes to everyone for fear of making someone sad or uncomfortable and I have to get over that. That's just not healthy for me or them for that matter. Corker Spangles, thank you for the head pads. I'll get those on right away. <laughs> Whoa, very funny. Hey, those are some good Goomba emotes. <laughs> uh, Astavan, okay, gonna go play this new game called Mortal Shell. Ooh, Mortal Shell's really fun. It's very short, but it's very fun. Um, oh, it's on Steam. Oh, I thought it was only on PS4. Nice. Is stream still going when I close it? I'll return uh, with first impressions. Oh, cool. Have some fun. <laughs> Hidden Tome, hey, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Man, there's so many people. 
<laughs> Welcome. Um, Cyberchill recently had an artist of mine uh, finish my Circle of the Spores druid, and it's amazing. Can't wait to play her someday. Ooh, Circle of the Spores is a really good one. Dope ass weeb. Good night. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a really cute um, Monty emotes there for ninety nine. Oh, oh, those are all so cute. Box, say no to people. I know. I got. I gotta learn how to say no to people. I. I just. I feel bad sometimes. <laughs> Fleek's gonna train. Teach me to say no to people. I'll, I'll become a cruel and crass person afterwards. It'll be great. <laughs> Bones. <laughs> Uh, call the ducks. Sorry, I gotta go, but I might come back. Yeah, no, don't sweat it. Have a good night. Uh, Rank Shada, I have to say no to a ton of work. It's for extras, and we have to charge for it, but you get used to it. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm still very new uh, when it comes to commissions and um, streaming, for that matter. So I still, I still have to learn how to say no properly. But I am learning. I'm slowly getting better. I will improve. <laughs> Bones. <laughs> uh, <laughs> True Cthulhu, Mortal Shell released on Steam a few days ago with some DLC. It added a roguelike mode. <gasps> oh. I like Mortal Shell. It's it's hard to get the timing down after playing Sekiro. Um, the first time I played it was after I finished my first playthrough of Sekiro. And everything moved so much slower. With Sekiro, I, I, I was counting the frames and timing it as closely as possible to when I could hit. But with Mortal Shell, it's, everything's a lot more slow paced. So you gotta take your time. Starlight Lemmer, I think you're doing an amazing job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm doing my best. And that's that's kind of all I can ask of myself, you know? Napalm, you see those bones? You want to know what made those bones? You don't want to know what made those bones. <laughs> Attack Capybara. Hey, thank you for the prime. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, I love capybaras. They're just so chill. I used to have a capybara pin on my bag, but I lost it in transit. Oh, so sad. Oh well, that's okay. Maybe next time I go to a con, I'll find that same artist that sold the pins. Yeah, there are ear bones, right? We were just talking about that. There are three ear bones. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but no, this is fine. Ear bones. <laughs> Hidden tome. Also, hi, honey. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing well too. <laughs> Detective Moon, hey look, the bones are finally clean and dry. <laughs> no, I don't want to think about the fact that bones are wet. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is probably good on this page, because some of these are animated, so I'm going to animate them later. Yep. And then let's relabel them. Head. Hair and features. There we go. Arcfab, hi, glad I caught the stream in time. Honey, I have heard you have an affinity to turns or tums. <laughs> have you ever had fruit flavor fruit flavored butter mints? Ooh. Butter mints. They have a similar taste and texture without the medications. Really? Ooh. I may have found a dangerous candy. <laughs> Fruit flavored butter mints. Dead fellow, thank you for the posture check. Huh? Oh, you hear my shoulders cracking. <laughs> Fleek, it all comes back to moans. Time is a flat circle. <laughs> I should call you Dry Bone Boy. <laughs> this one's cute. Let's do this one. Honey, do you like rock? Yeah, I like rock. Rock's really good. 
I used to listen to metal a little bit. Um, it's I can't listen to it too much anymore because it's a little harsh on my ears now. But I still appreciate it. It is a very difficult art form to be able to make your 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 voice scream like that constantly. Deadfellow, I'm off to bed. This is the last stream I'll catch before going down to the south down to South Carolina for my brother's graduation from boot camp, but I have fun. Oh, congrats to your brother. Hope you have fun down there. Be safe, all right? Uh, Auntie Apple, honey, you promise not to try forbidden candy. But, but, but this isn't medicine. I could have forbidden candy when it's not forbidden. It's just candy then that tastes like forbidden candy. Right? <laughs> Uh, fleek. Oh no, my bones are far, far from dry. I keep them hydrated all the time. <laughs> Mariak, I like rock too, but I can't do screamo. That is just a step too far. Oh, yeah. It's... I used to be able to listen to it, but now I've noticed that my, what my voice does is while a song is going on, my vocal cords will mimic the pitch without actually making any sound. Like it's like you're kind of like you, when you stretch your muscles. Um, so when I hear screamo, uh, oh, it just, it, my, my throat doesn't want to do it and it hurts. <laughs> Tall me, Gotham VTuber, what, how have I not known this before? Oh, welcome. Hope you're having a good time. All right, let's see. Oh, got another song. All righty. Sleepy raccoon, time to head out? Okay, take it easy. I'm just lining up a song real quick. Here we go. Uh, ooh. There we go. A lot of moon related songs today, actually. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Rang shout out. The only forbidden candy is sugar free Har Haribo, and everyone knows why. I don't know why. <laughs> Is this a candy I should know? <laughs> All right, let's see. So this song's called Rocket to the Moon from Over the Moon. Very nice one. It's a bit longer, so I might cut it a bit short, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> the sixth, hi honey, saw your work uh, whoops. Saw your work on YouTube and I thought I'd stop by. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Came just in time for me to practice singing a song. <laughs> Alright, let's, 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 let's lube up the throat. <laughs> let's take a sip of water. Oh, that was nice. Hostess Mizaki, hey! Over the Moon's so good. Yeah, I love Over the Moon. It's such a good movie. Just feels good, you know? Let's, let's see if I remember how to sing this. Like, and honey, if you eat too many, they, they may act as a laxative. <laughs> okay, maybe I won't have too many times then. The Critic of Innocence. As a lunatic fan of the moon, any moon-related things are, be good to me. Oh, I love moon. When I was a kid, anything moon-related was the best. Let's see. Okay, that's that note's a little high. Okay, there we go. <laughs> like, and I was talking about gummy bears. Gummy bears? Oh, just, just kidding. I thought you were talking about Tums. Uh, Ticket to the Moon by Elo is great, Cobra. I don't know Ticket to the Moon, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Moon Moon meme back in the Tumblr days. Oh, that was, that was funny. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <clears throat> I look up in the heavens and I can see your face. Your gentle eyes in moonlight. I feel your warm embrace. We were the perfect family, Baba, you and me. I never thought that he'd find someone new and not remember you. Of all 
the tales you told me, Chang'e was what I loved. She lost her precious Hoi, then floated up above. She waits for him forever, so Baba, why can't he? If I can prove to him her tale is true, he'll remember you. Fly away, Chang'e, are you calling to me? Fly away. Are you up there looking at me? Can you see what nobody sees? Can you hear my voice up on the moon? Fly away. Wish I had the wings to take me high away to a place where no one doubts me and I'd walk on a lunar dune. Could I find a way to get there soon? Build a rocket to the moon. I would fly beyond the stars to keep my family. If I did, I'd show my father love lasts all eternity. I would prove truths in the heart, not only what you see. Make him see. Could I discover a way to break through? What could a girl like me possibly do? Build me a rocket, imagine the view. Oh, how I want to fly away. Chang'e, I am coming to you, high away. Baba, I will prove it to you. I'll be free of all gravity. Hey, Chang'e, I'm gonna be there soon. In my rocket to the moon. <laughs> I love that song. It's a really good one. Your friend Benji, hey, thank you so much for the shinies. <laughs> I'll put my music back on. <laughs> um, <laughs> that song is uh, Rocket to the Moon from uh, Over the Moon. It's, it's a Netflix movie, so you can watch it. It's really, really good. It's only like an hour and a half long. Uh, <laughs> Nikki, honey, your voice is getting so good. Yeah, I, it's it's really improved since I started streaming. I think literally just practicing talking and using it and singing occasionally has really helped it a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Death I think I'm about to sip. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Let me say thank you for the prime. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, Smurf Jr., thank you for the bits. Here's some coins to fund your future band. <laughs> I actually tried out for a band one time uh, back in high school when one of my friends, a friend of a friend was starting a band and they needed a vocal vocalists. Um, and I tried singing, but I think I was too nervous. It was also a group of all guys, so I don't know how comfortable they were with having like, like it, they were all teenage guys, and they were like two years younger than me. <laughs> so I don't know how comfortable they were um, with me. Um, so I didn't actually end up joining the band. But it was a good experience learning that I, I was not great at singing in front of people yet. <laughs> uh, Raynex, your giggles are what makes the stream so wonderful in my opinion. You're just a sweet little gobbo and so relaxing to be around. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Full Metal Swordsman, I can sleep peacefully now. Oh, good. <laughs> Get some sleep. Um, Full Metal Swordsman. Oh my gosh, thank you for the Prime. Welcome. Uh, Cry Vigor, thank you so much as well. I hope your adventures are having a good night. Cry <laughs> uh, Vigor, I will also see. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, but thank you. <laughs> Tell me you're going to bed? All right, get some sleep. Good night. Thank you for dropping by. Uh, let, let's let's keep working on the emotes. 
think I'll finish a couple more, then I'll call it a night. I had dinner already, so Grim can't get mad at me because I already had dinner. <laughs> My mods cannot get angry, for I have eaten the food. Every time I stream and my mods are just like, go eat dinner! Joke's on you, I had pizza today. Rising Phoenix, do you own that angelic voice, honey? Or are you borrowing it from an angel? <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I am a bard for a reason. <laughs> I think the easiest songs to sing are like Frank Sinatra and Nat King Cole songs as well as like uh, musicals. They're very, very, they have a nice tune to them. The nice ups and downs very are very, not predictable, but they make sense. Lord Undertale Trash. <laughs> Thank you for the prime, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Necro Neko, thank you for the hydrate. Let's, let's take a sip. Alucard, oh, thank you. I'm glad you like the song. It's a really good song. The musical is very nice. Excuse me. Cam's, honey, will who take care of the tavern when you go out? Oh, my staff are very, very capable. They're mischievous, but they know what to do when when I need breaks. <laughs> Most of the time, it's Buns who's in charge. He's a he's a he's a good chef. He's also good at kicking people out who are rude and rowdy. Kinda sad you have to go? Alright, I hope you have a good night too. Take it easy. Rang Shadow, I just heard your welcome to the internet version and it was awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Cobra, thank you for the, the shinies. No goblin tax payment, this is straight up simping and I'm okay with that. <laughs> That, that you, thank you. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. Thank you. <laughs> Thallium, how can you be so heckin' cozy while still drawing? That's amazing. Yeah, um, I don't know. Drawing's my, drawing is my happy place. I always feel very relaxed when I draw. It's fun to create stuff. It makes me feel very fulfilled whenever I do some drawings. Caper art, or caper art. Oh wow, I use the tablet and pen vStreamer myself. It's so cool to see another artist using it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I feel like a lot of, uh, it, it's very easy to install and, and create the assets for. So I'm kind of surprised not more artists are using it. Um, oh, but man, it's so much fun. <laughs> I love seeing this thing move on screen. Uh, Benji, I'm dying what a sweet little gobble goddess who told you that you could seduce me with that voice. <laughs> Oh, my apologies. <laughs> Honey, Batbug bug is doing the coloring of the big art piece, just throwing that out there. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, let me do the features. Death Muffin, that was my first time hearing you sing, and it made me feel better, especially with the day ahead. Oh, I'm glad. I hope you're recovering from the, uh, the day you're having. Sometimes you need to... Just do nothing and take care of yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Make sure you're doing okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Critic of Innocence. <laughs> Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Um, I Heart Radio Live Radio. Paul. Hi, honey. This is Paul. Hi, Paul. <laughs> good to meet you. Uh, or good to actually good to see you. I think I've seen you before. Uh, but Neo Silverthorn, thank you for the posture check. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh, uh, and Allenwood, this, thank you so much for the bits. Oh shoot, I hope I didn't miss it. Uh, oh no. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Goat Simulator, well have a great rest of your night. Loved the singing. Good night, honey. Good night, Goat Simulator. Take it easy. Detective Moon, honey do love the moon because when it brings the high tides, it also brings the hot, hot fishmen so you can roll to seduce them. <laughs> oh. Is it bad that when I was a kid, I, I was very, very easy to, I was very easily influenced 
by stories like that. So whenever I swam underwater, I would only ever swim with my feet together and I would pretend I was a mermaid. <laughs> to the point where my instructor was like, no, 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 you have to kick. I'm teaching you how to swim here. You can't just, you can't, you can't go be like a dolphin. And I would go, I'm not a dolphin. I'm a mermaid. I was so insulted. <laughs> What a weird thing for a kid to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Capper Art, I love your style as well. Any tips for a more emoted style with expressions such as yourself? I'm more of a semi-realistic artist, but I suffer with expressions. I think it pertains to my autism since my main issue involves my inability to understand body language and social cues. Uh, for tips, I would recommend looking at a lot of, um, if you Google Disney expression sheets, um, you can a lot of the times see reference for how uh, Disney characters squash and stretch their expressions and what kind of expressions their eyes do, and you can use that for reference and learn from that. So definitely uh, reference very much more cartoony styles if you're looking for more expressive uh, emotions. Detect me. Seduce the fishman with your siren song. <laughs> <laughs> the sirens sing to seduce people on the shore, and the shore sings back. <laughs> Give me your fishmen! <laughs> the holiday, since you showed interest in my commission idea, I'm happy to wait for you to be open again for them. I hope you like hot aquatic monsters. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What sort of can of worms is that have I opened tonight? Uh, <laughs> Steven, honey, we've been reacted re reacted you for your sketch. What is your bio? Uh, it's in the about section if you want to check out more of my art. Uh, I have a Twitter. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how to read that question. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> Monty Mo, hey, thank you for the sub. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I'm glad you, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Uh, <laughs> Raptor, you will die. <laughs> all right, all right. Got that down, got that down. Uh, Fleek, so that's why Wamawink is one of your favorite characters. <laughs> I do love Wamawink. She's great. <laughs> She looks so soft. The holiday. The worms for fishman bait. <laughs> oh. Uh, shoot. Uh, what was I about to do? Right. I was about to draw hands. I got distracted. <laughs> I might sing that song again sometime. It's really fun to sing. Alucard, I can't draw, but I can read most people like a book from their body language. Oh, that's a good skill to have. Or Lord Cressa, should I be worried about this fishman obsession? Nah, I don't think so. I just think they're neat. Also, if simping for a goblin girl is a bad thing, then I am a super villain because Honey Goblin is the reason I downloaded Twitch with a couple months back. <laughs> oh, thank you. I I'm glad you love to hang out enough to download Twitch on your on your phone. <laughs> like, and is that why sirens are always seen singing by shores? They're just in an aggressive and confused mating ritual with the crowd. <sighs> I love mermaid folklore. I also I also find the idea funny that like when people thought they saw mermaids, it was actually I think it was like manatees. That to me is just hilarious. Uh <laughs> Monty Mo, thank you so much for this up. I, I think I said that already, but if I'm in case I missed it, thank you so much. Uh <laughs> Black Mario! Alright. <laughs> hey, sugar. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I got 
too embarrassed to do that one. <laughs> mm. Um, Alucard, Fishman, so Aquaman? Only Jason Momoa, Aquaman, though. I think that's just because Jason Momoa is an attractive person. <laughs> it looks like he could throw me across the room. <laughs> Lily, what if uh, in, the, in the cauldron stream you were Merman? Oh, Mermaid Goblin. <gasps> Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Oh, there's so many good ideas. Y'all keep throwing me such good ideas, and I only have so much time to do them. Ugh. <laughs> Andy Apple, I don't know what took my breath away. I hit from an ogre club or your beautiful voice. <laughs> well, I thank you. Um, I heard radio. Tori, how long were you been a goblin? Is this your first time? Uh, how long have I been a goblin? Kind of always. <laughs> I've, I've only ever streamed with a, a VTube studio or a 2D live model, so I've never streamed before this account. So, I'm, I don't know, I've only been streaming since end of April. So, May, June, July, August. So yeah, I'm, I'm on, on a month four now. Man, it's been almost four months, can you believe it? I've learned a lot. <laughs> Not everything, but I've learned a lot. Uh, <laughs> Detective Moon, if you try to pull the do you like fish sticks prank on honey, she will look at you dead in the eyes and say in the most dead serious tone, yes, yes I do. <laughs> Oh, South Park. South Park is an interesting show. Jijus, hey ya! Hope we're doing well. <laughs> Coyote Zappa. Did you learn how to microwave soup? I, I know how to microwave soup. I love soup. Let's see. What's a good expression to do? I'm so excited to animate this. Like, this is gonna be the most fun to animate. Just smack. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do stressed or scared. Golden Helix, hello, at least you're a nice goblin unlike the green goblin from Spider-Man. <laughs> that guy's a jerk. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a fan of him. He was, he was a real meanie. <laughs> Benji, low-key, I'm not feeling the best. I might have even gotten the COVID, so the fact that this is a low-key stream with your adorable gobbo ass is helping a lot. Oh, make sure you take care of yourself. Make sure you get lots of rest. Yeah, you're getting sick really sucks. Uh, <laughs> uh, kin kinder Kobold. Hey, honey, don't know if you recognize my old name from the Times. It's appeared in chat, but I used to be your evil twin. Oh, that's where it is. That's where you're from. I changed it so when I, someday, giving VTube a sh- uh, when I sometimes give VTubing a shot. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, so thank you for giving me the inspiration to do that. P.S. My name is pronounced like the chocolate egg. Oh, Kinder Kobold. Gotcha. Okay, okay. But yeah, congrats. Oh, that's really cool. I'm excited. <laughs> I love seeing new VTubers, especially like, like uh, very di unique and different VTubers. They're really cool to look at. Love it so much. Swift Jr. All right, time to sleepy sleep. Have a good stream, honey, and have fun with all the new Sims. <laughs> I mean, um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm sure not. I, I don't know that many. It's fine. <laughs> uh, let's see. Fleek, is there a potential VTuber model you're hyped to see live? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> it's the one I'm currently working on. I'm super excited to see it live, but I can't show y'all because I haven't asked permission from the the the, the streamer yet. Um, I, I'm still working on the design itself. Um, I'm going to work more on it tomorrow because tomorrow I have more free time. But I'm so excited. Oh, it's gonna look super neat. I've never done a model like this before, and I, I get to test some new rigging techniques. Oh, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Slick Shotter, dude, I work at this massive bank as a software guy, and the CEO is forcing people to go back to work. I'm amazed I haven't gotten COVID yet with how few people wear masks. Yo, oh my gosh, I hope you're safe. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Uh, 
iHeartRadio Live Radio. We've been recording your video and put you live on podcast on iHeart Demand video stream. Oh, ah, well, neat. Um, <laughs> I mean, it would have been a little nice to know before you were streaming it, but all right, I guess. <laughs> it is a public uh, platform, I guess. Uh, Starlight Glimmer, do you have any advice for someone that is new to VTuber? Um, I would say if you're new to VTubing and like you haven't got your model at all, I would highly recommend um, creating a budget for yourself. Um, because sometimes streaming with a model and art for you and your assets can be very expensive, especially if you're commissioning someone. So make sure you have enough money to support yourself and that what's going into your VTuber model or your assets is fun money. Uh, so please uh, make sure you're not, because it is an investment. Um, I, I was, I'm a, a weird case because I wanted to know how the technology worked. So I very much <laughs> just DIY'd everything <laughs> because I wanted to understand how the technology worked. And so I just made my own models. Um, but keep in mind that, um, especially if you're commissioning another artist to do stuff for you, it can, it can add up. So be aware, um, but also stream what you like, have fun with it. Don't stress about numbers or trying to make it big. Just have a good time doing what you're doing. Don't worry about following trends. Just have fun. Be you. You know? Pink Spooter, I'm planning on becoming a VTuber. I need a computer that can handle all the stuff first, though. Yes, actually, that's a really good point. Uh, please get a computer that can support VTube Studio and games. Because um, uh, some people stream on laptops, and it does work, but it's really hard on their, their, um, their RAM. So sometimes it's not possible to run... Uh, uh, model and game at the same time. So just keep that in mind. Gamer Darius. Yeah, the important part is have fun. Yeah, exactly. If you're not enjoying it, then kind of what's the point, you know? You're, you're here to have fun. I, I would hope anyways. Um, and just enjoy doing what you're doing while you're doing it. Daikinkais, thank you so much for the hydrate. Oh, I banged my uh, water bottle on my desk. <laughs> Blue Tater, everyone in my class is super tall, so I just constantly feel like a goblin. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, that's okay. That, you're, you're the perfect height to just headbutt them if they ever cause any problems. <laughs> there are advantages to being shorts. You are closer to the shins. You can attack. Warlord Cressa, I'd never streamed, but I'd love to know how to make the models and rig them. Oh, there's a lot of uh, tutorials online. Um, I would recommend going to see... There's a channel called Dream Trove. Very good if you're just starting out. Um, there's also a channel uh, called... Uh, Dream Trove is really good for if, you're, if you don't know anything about Live 2D. Um, if you want to see how someone who does it professionally does it, uh, Brian Sui is very, very good. He did the model for uh, fruit, for um, uh, chai, very beautiful model. Very nicely done. Um, and just very, very cool to watch in general. Uh, and another one is that's good is Kira Omori. Very, very good. Hey, Gary, sleepy art time? Nice, nice. You doing art too? <laughs> Hope we're getting rest. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I hope I didn't miss anything. Uh, <laughs> Rojo Vendetta. Key point, having a voice that sounds like a thousand seas lullabying you in bed of feathers and rose petals. <laughs> I mean, oh, that is a good point. Um, if you're going to do a voice, make sure it's a voice you can do for hours on end. Because um, sometimes it can strain your voice. Uh, I, I decided it was best for me not to do it because I, I can't think. I can't think fast enough with a voice, so I just decided to not do a voice. <laughs> Too much work. I Heart Radio. Uh, what did you say your channel? What? Oh, uh, there's a channel called Dream Trove. Very, very good uh, for tutorials. As well as um, Brian Sui. T S U I I. Yeah. His tutorials are very good as well. And then Kira Omori. 
O M O R I. Yeah, those are all YouTube channels. Very, very good. Very good for informational um, live 2D information. Very good. Umlaut, hey, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Hope you're doing well. Benji, I'd let Honey Bash in my shits. No. <laughs> no, that wouldn't that be me. <laughs> um, Alex Jen, thank you for the posture check. <sighs> Lily, I have a horrible headache at the base of my skull. Oh no. Lily, I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> Take it easy, all right, all right? Make sure to tell us, get some help if you need to. Uh, Capra Art, I'm gonna dip out. Love watching other artists on here, but I always get so distracted I forgot to keep drawing. <laughs> I will return another time. Your art style and VTuber gal are so neat. It's amazing to see another fantasy VTuber model on here. I was worried my dark elf was weird. Nah, nah, there's a lot of really cool fantasy VTubers. Um, I'm part of a group called Fantasy Inc. There's a lot of very interesting designs there that are really cool. So check it out. All right, let's finish this one up. And then we can do a cool down. I need to fix that hair a little bit. Didn't do too many, but let's see. I think that's pretty good. Whoop. Lily, I'm fine, just pain. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Duck God, hiya. How's it going? Uh, oh! <laughs> Shoot. Oh gosh, chat zooming. Chat is zooming. Uh, Alright. I think that's pretty good for art. Got a lot done. Got this done. Cleaned up some of these. I think these are pretty good. I'll have to do more coloring and cleaning them up though, so stay tuned. Uh, let me just save those real quick. But for now, let's switch back. There we go. I think I can, oops. <laughs> and yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> uh, Cams. All right. Let me let me let me get ready. Ara ara. <laughs> all right. All right. Cams. What about an ara ara in English? Yeah, I can do an ara ara in English real quick. <laughs> Let's see. My oh my. <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much. Somehow it's harder in English. <laughs> uh, Starlight Glimmer, is there anyone I could show you my avatar? And anyone I could show you my avatar? I had art commission. I would love to get your thoughts on it. Oh yeah, uh, I have a Discord. That's probably the easiest way to contact me currently. Um, so if you want, to, you can share it into the art section, and I can try to give it a look. Excuse me. I've been doing my best to keep active on Discord while still setting aside time for commissions and art and streaming and work. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff all at once, but I'm, I'm doing my best. Uh, Mr. Snack, let's put the head pads on then. Yeah, there we go. Oop. <laughs> a little too low. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Uh, John T. Jackalope, is it okay if I directly link the YouTube channels you mentioned? Yeah, if you could, if you, you could link Dream Trove and, uh, Brian Sui and Kira, that'd be great. They're very, very good, uh, especially for resources. Uh, <laughs> Rimura, it's better in English? No! Um, <laughs> uh, you gotta do it like George Takei's Oh My. Oh My. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, Gary, 
Yes, I hope you're resting, Lily. Yeah, Lily, I hope you're resting. Oh. <laughs> Detective Moon, wait, what's the Discord link? Uh, if you do... There we go. <laughs> That's the Discord. Um, I do my best to try to be active on it, but I do, I do work full time, so uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> Uh, Fleek, have you have tried a French RR though? What's my my in French? <laughs> I heard radio. Your VTuber is amazing. Thank you for the good time for us. Paul and Tori loved. Oh, thank you. I, I'm glad you guys had a good time. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Sorry if I missed a bunch of your messages. Like the the chat goes a little fast sometimes. <laughs> Sir Alec, I was thinking about uh, a death knight for an avatar. What's your thoughts? A death knight. Just like a like a black knight, or like a like a doula hand where the head is kind of missing, cause that'd be cool. I think I've seen one person with that so far. Fall starting my new job. To oh, whoops. <laughs> let's put let's put the blanket away. There we go. There we go. Set up again. <laughs> uh, Loki, if I ever start VTubing. DV tuber streaming, I probably make the model of my favorite D&D character I ever made. His name was Cornbread. <laughs> he was a wizard who was half human, half monster who loved cornbread. Fitting name. Fitting name. <laughs> Rimuru, sure Japanese RR was good, but English one felt like I was pinned to the wall <laughs> and got it whispered in my ear. No escape, 10 out of 10. Would my oh my again? <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> what about Latin RR? Ooh. I don't know. Cobra, French RR, omelette du fromage. Just <laughs> the Dexter's lab. <laughs> Whoa, Crimson Hylian, thank you so much for the, the dig of the subs. Thank you. That's so kind of you. Slick shotter, work is a black hole that consumes everything, but I take it over college and constant homework. I mean, yeah, that's, it's, yeah, it's different for everyone. Some people enjoy like school more than work, so that's fair. Swagnum. I haven't watched High School DxD. I've only seen clips of it. Um, Lycan. Honey, you're talking about Iron Hex Cleo. Maybe? Uh, I'm, 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 I was talking about Iron Vertex. They're, they're a, you can check them on Twitter. They, they do specifically VTuber models. It's really cool. Grim. Hey, don't suppose we could have the kitty ears? <laughs> the cat ears? Sure. But before I head out, let's, let's put some cat ears on. <laughs> Can't. Ears. There we go. There's one. Yep. And then. Whoops. And a two. There's a cat ears. <laughs> there you go, Grim. Hug bear. With the fantasy theme, what about an owl bear? Ooh, I, I think there is an owl bear actually. It, wait, no, is there? Or am I thinking of owl fluffs? Another VTuber. Very cool. Uh, quite clueless. The Black Knight from Monty Python, maybe? Oh. <laughs> Just have a, an emote where you slowly lose each limb. Gross, but funny reference. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Goblin language RR. What would that even sound like? I'm not. I'm a super fluent in gob. My mom is, but um, I heard radio. We've been donated you for eighteen hundred or no, one thousand or I can't read numbers. I'm so sorry. Hundred and eighty do donation. This was donated by Paul. Oh, what? 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 <laughs> I'll have to check that out later. I think I missed that. <laughs> but thank you. Uh, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> That's too much money. You didn't have to. <laughs> Gosh, y'all y'all are too y'all are too nice, generally. Just in general, y'all are way too nice. <laughs> Please make sure to take care of yourselves first. <laughs> Jedi leader. I'm invincible. Oh right, Rimuray. Cattail? I gotta have the cattail. Why not? Cat 
here. Oh, no, wait. There we go. <laughs> nope, it didn't show up. <laughs> I will get this cattail. And it's too big. And then it's control. <laughs> I tilted. <laughs> there we go. There's a cattail. <laughs> Onyx, we're nice to you, honey, because it's a sin to besmirch an angel. What? <laughs> Y'all, please. No. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Rising Phoenix, after four months, you think you would be used to the money being thrown at you, cute couple. I mean, like, it's it's still a big surprise. Like, I, I'm, I'm still not fully used to it. Um, I really hope y'all are, it, the, 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 the money you're throwing at me is like your fun money and that you're actually taking care of yourselves first. And then maybe if you have like spare pocket change, you can just like throw it my way. <laughs> I'm the, I, I'll, I'll eventually, may, maybe I'll get used to it. Who knows? I might never get used to it. And then, eh, that's all right. <laughs> Remarry. My life is complete. I die. Thank you for everything. <laughs> I just wore a tail. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I heard radio. What is your favorite 80s music? Good question. Uh, probably... It does Queen count as 80s music? I love Queen. It's, it's a bit of a basic choice, but like, Freddie Mercury's good at singing. I love Killer Queen. That's a good song. Mega Scrabble. I didn't think you could be more adorable, but I was wrong. All hail Cat Gobbo. <laughs> I'd like to thank VTube Studio for these assets. <laughs> Onyx, all my money is fun money. <laughs> okay. Okay, Onyx. I'll take your word for it. Um, Autumn Atomic, hey, thank you so much for the, the 300s Chinese. Thank you. That's so kind. Uh, like, and one last time for those who didn't see, Cleo Iron Hex is part of the Deus Ex Monstrum for those who wanted. Oh, oh, they're, they're, uh, is that, is that the same group that Gobby's part of? Like, Gobby Lin? Autumn Atomic, here, take my lunch money. No, you gotta save your lunch money. You have to, you have to eat. You gotta eat. That's important. <laughs> Uh, Otakon. Queen is great, but I think they're mostly 70s stuff. Oh, okay. Dang. I'm trying to think of 80s music then. Maybe... Is Elton John's I'm Still Standing an 80s song? Or is that like 70s as well? Huh. Kinder Cobalt. I look away for one second and now there's a tail. <laughs> yeah, it's new. <laughs> Jedi Leader. My favorite Queen song? Killer Queen. It's good. Somebody to Love is also very nice, though. Uh, Reg <laughs> Regis. I got a side, ho side job slash hobby with woodworking. I get extra income from that, so don't worry. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Uh, T.I.J. Moon. Hope the stream was good. I came in late. Been a long day. Yeah, don't sweat it. It's all good. We're just taking- I'm just cooling down from art right now. Taking it easy. Like on, yes, that is the same group as Gobby Land is in. Yes! Okay, nice. Otakon, I think that's 70s too? Dang. Turns out a lot of my music I like is like 70s music. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's get ready to raid someone. Uh, let me just make sure I did all the redeems. Yep, all the redeems taken care of. We're good. Onyx, my preferred 80s song is Dare by Stan Bush. Oh. So I think my brain thought of Dare from by Gorillaz. Not not quite the same thing. Uh, <laughs> that, is, that is a different era, for sure. Alright. Twitch page, please open up. There we go. Because, yeah, all my brain is thinking of is, like, I'm still standing now. It's like, oh. I'm still standing, da -da 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 -da. looking like a true survivor. 
feeling like a little kid. Uh, but here's what I'll do. <laughs> well, the touch is another amazing Stan Bush song. Ooh. Salty, what have I come into and why do you have cat accents? Uh, end of stream, pretty much, but uh, just just for fun. I just felt like wearing them for fun. <laughs> Lily, I love gorillas. I spelled that wrong. That's fine. The, the gorillas is still good. Let's see. Oh, I love Misery Business by Paramore. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I meant to pray, but I got it what I wanted now. Oh, it was never my intention to pray. Steal it all away from you now. <laughs> uh, I will send y'all over to a new streamer. Uh, f fairly new, but um, they're very kind. Uh, they're doing art as well, so if you were looking for something to calm down and just chill out to, uh, I think they're a good person. I'm gonna send y'all over to Batbug Doodles. <laughs> So, um, thank you all for so much for joining me today. It was super fun. Bad Bug's drawing a bunch of goblins right now, so I think that's pretty on brand. <laughs> keep keeping with the theme. I think it's gonna be good. Uh, but yeah, y'all take it easy. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. It was so much fun. I'll, I'll set the schedule on Twitch. Unfortunately, my Twitter is still uh, restricted. Uh, I'm still talking to Twitch support for that, but... <laughs> What you gonna do? We're just gonna have to take it day by day. But yeah, I'll send y'all over to Batbug. Batbug's drawing some gobs. <laughs> I think it's gonna be fun. Cake Chen, first stream for me. Thank you for the stream. It's super comfy. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining. I'm glad you had fun. Uh, <laughs> I Heart Radio, we thank you for watching you. Yeah, thanks for joining. No sweat. <laughs> it's always fun streaming with some people. Negi, thanks as always for a fun stream. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for coming. All right, y'all have fun. Batbug's doing some art. Say hi. Be kind. And I'll see y'all soon. Good night. <laughs>